All right, hello, and welcome to the Fate SRD uh, learned. <laughs> Let's start that again. Punch that up. All right, hello, and welcome to Learn to Play Fate, hosted by the Fate SRD. Tonight, we are going to be playing Good Neighbors, uh, a world of adventure brought to us by uh, Evil Hat uh, and Paul Stefko. Um, tonight, we've got Paul, uh, who is going to be our GM, which means that I actually get to play a game for once, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, so, Paul, I'm going to pass the baton to you. Tell us a, uh, a little bit about Good Neighbors. Uh, and, yeah, give us a tour. Okay. Uh, yeah, Good Neighbors uh, is a fate world of adventure that uh, is about a small town called Still Hollow and the effects on that town by the uh, introduction of uh, the the industry, uh, which is just the catch-all use in the, in the in the text for the uh, energy extraction industry that has come to town to get uh, natural gas and whatnot out of the earth that has obvious effects on the town on a mundane level the uh, the economy of the town the politics of the town the environment um, and it also has a spiritual magical effect which is uh, experienced by the court of fairies that shares the town and its and its surrounding uh, area with uh, humans, and in Good Neighbors you actually play two characters. You play a human who has to deal with all the mundane effects of the industry, and you also play a fairy, and you take turns in phases of the game. First phase is everyone plays their humans, and the second phase is everyone plays their fairies. Uh, the humans will deal with the industry through activism, journalism, politics. The fairies, well, they're probably going to deal with it through magic and subterfuge and that sort of thing. Um, on your character sheet, you have your two characters. And in order to streamline character creation, we, uh, I, we brought everything down to a very bare baseline level. Human characters will look familiar to anyone who's played Fate Core. Um, they have five aspects. Three of those aspects are uh, written in the form of uh, a profession uh, and actually get skill ratings as if you were using the normal skills from uh, Fate Core, only they're professions. For example, one of the pre-generated characters, Dana Pink Pinkney, has the three professions of Relentless Journalist, which is rated at plus four, Lucky Outdoor Adventurer, which is rated at plus one, and Former Trust Fund Kid, which is rated at plus two. Um, and all of the humans have, to, to start with, have that spread of profession ratings. The fairy characters, on the other hand, will look a lot more like Fate Accelerated characters, they have approaches. In the case of Tack, who's the fairy character for the pair with uh, Dana Pinkney, Tack is a careful builder, a forceful protector, and quick to place blame, which means that they have the three approaches of careful, forceful, and quick. They do not have the other three approaches from Fate Accelerated, which means that if Tack needs to do something sneakily, they can't. They have to find a way that fits in with one of the three approaches that they have. That's pretty um, cool. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a great way to streamline character creation because you are making two characters at the same time. Um, the last special rule for streamlining character creation is that there are only three types of stunt. You have an invoke stunt, a compel stunt, and a declare stunt. And each of the characters, human and fairy, gets to put three stunts, and each one is connected to one of their uh, aspects. The invoke stunt, whenever you invoke that aspect to re-roll your dice, you also get to add plus two to the result. Okay. For a compel stunt, whenever someone compels the aspect that that's uh, uh, connected to, Instead of just getting a free fate point, you can create a new situation aspect and put two free invokes on it. Finally, the declare stunt, if you spend a fate point 
on your aspect to declare a new fact about the scene related to that aspect, you get to create a situation aspect that reflects that fact that you're declaring, and you get to put two free invokes on that. And that's basically uh, all the changes that we made to characters, and uh, I think it worked out pretty well. I read the book Good Neighbors, and I tell you what, the, the character process is um, amazing. Having these two characters that you switch back and forth between, um, the fairy, the way that the you have certain approaches that are ranked, um, but then if you don't have a ranked approach, you literally do not have that approach, um, which helps make the fairy feel more alien because they have limitations that humans don't. Um, the Having, uh, for the humans having ranked aspects is really nice because it leans more heavily into like who an individual is. Um, and that's something that like I was first exposed to it with the three rocketeers. Um, and I think it's just absolutely great. Um, the way that it's handled in, in good neighbors is different than three rocketeers. Um, and I think I like this approach a little bit better. Um, no, no offense on three rocketeers. I mean, I love anything Musketeers related, uh, but uh, I really think that, that you've got a rock solid world of adventure. Well, thank you. I, I hope uh, everyone enjoys it. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, let's get to the game. Hello, friends. This is Randy with his editor hat on, letting you know that the very beginning of this session, probably about maybe like 10 minutes where we picked characters and talked through the, the decision process for that, um, did not get recorded because it turns out that going live involves hitting multiple buttons. And uh, I did not hit all the buttons that I was supposed to. So you're going to be joining us um, during the very first scene, uh, just a little bit into it. I think you'll pick up the context pretty quickly. Um, and it is, uh, despite this, it is a really good learn to play episode. So uh, I recommend that you stick with it and just kind of go with the flow. Uh, my apologies, but have fun. Thanks. Create an advantage uh, to try to shake him even further. Sure. What are you creating an advantage on? Uh, like, so you're, using you're, like using, what, are, uh, you're you're making a new aspect. What what would you like that aspect to to be? Uh, visibly shaken. Okay. Okay. He's and, got the uh, receipts. Yeah. What? Uh, which of your which of your, uh, your your skills are you using for that? Uh, journalist? Relentless journalist. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Go ahead and give me that roll. Ooh, superb. Okay, so uh, he is uh, he is going to try and, and resist that. Um, at this point, he's just he's gone full corporate mouthpiece, like he's trying to lock lock the message down. And uh, okay, so that will uh, if you want to uh, accept that and and uh, and tie. Um, you would, I forget how tying on creating an advantage, because tying is so boost. rare. You, it's just a Great boost. Great advantage, yeah. it's a boost. Yeah, it's just a boost. Um, you could take a boost, which you could use on your next action, or you could hand off to somebody else for their next action. Um, uh, could I actually invoke uh, my motivation with my family's hands are dirty, so maybe he recognizes the name and understands what that means? Yeah, sure. That would that would pump. Uh, you would you would have to spend a fate point, and that yep. would uh, give you the. Uh, I'm going to copy the card and change it. You said visibly shaken. Is what you wanted that to yeah. be? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Best way to handle people like this is to get them to be unnerved. So there's one, there's one free invoke on there. So you can either hand it off to Emilio or you can give it to, to Randy and, and uh, Emilio will bring up the end of the... I suggest you give it to Emilio. That way yeah, uh, he doesn't go last and take a double turn. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. So Emilio, please. Uh, Emilio is going to... Uh, he is going to attempt to sort of get the get the uh, the press back on uh, 
get the press back on his side uh, and create an advantage uh, just by doing a uh, he like he like straightens his tie could like get his smile comes back up it doesn't look quite as uh, authentic as it did when he first walked out but you can see he's trying to put trying to put the mask back on he's gonna try and create an advantage to get the the press corps on his side because you're the only person here who's actually from this town everybody else came from out of town for this um, so he's gonna try and create an advantage uh, which uh, he is going to do um, and he'll actually get uh, get two two free invokes on that um, with a seven. Um, of press on his side uh, and then we'll hand it to Randy Randy how are you getting involved in this all right listen Rob Rob has his gas station coffee in his hand and um, is conflicted because you know the the business that Apelion corporation has brought you know is letting me feed my three children Ricky Ramona and rich um, and you know it, it's 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 a conflict like you know i'm you know they're looking into it um but i'm concerned about like my kids uh so i'm basically kind of like going through the crowd just kind of like you know like well what are they what are they talking about they keep talking about like scientific reports and checking on themselves like just is the water safe for my kids to drink like can my children drink water um and i would like to the way i would like this to play out mechanically uh, Paul, if you agree, is um, I'm leaning into my motivation, which is business is booming for now. You know, like this is how sure. I like this company is how I feed my kids. Um, but I need to know that the drinking water is safe for my kids. So that motivation aspect is um, it's tied to the declare stunt. So once per scene, when you spend a fate point to declare a story detail related to an aspect with this connected stunt, um, I can create a situation aspect representing that detail with two free invoked mm -hmm. invokes. My thought is to create the aspect, like is the water safe for kids to drink with two okay. free invokes on it? Um, Absolutely. Because I think that that would like get the crowd kind of like thinking in those terms um, and make those, those free invokes available for, you know, all of our frontline journalist friends um, and YouTubers. Okay. That's my thought. I, it is, you just like it so that out, doesn't or? even that doesn't even require yeah. your action because you're just spending a fate point for a declare, so oh, you can do that fair. and still take an action. You know what? I'm then I'm going to let's see. I, I spent my fate point. Um, then I would like to uh, try to create an aspect um, on like the impact of or like. Uh, um, so I'm doing that, and what I want to do is I want to just basically. Okay, sorry, my, my brain, I'm thinking in terms of, I don't want to duplicate what I just did, but I'm going to duplicate what I just did, which is like, you know, this like, you know, talking about, you know, is the water safe for my kid to drink, which you're going to need to update the aspect label uh, on yeah, the board. Yeah, it's, um, it's they're hard to deal with on the fly, but. Um, yeah, World 20, um, the fake character sheets are great. That's the only nice thing I have to say about it. Um, uh, I know, I know. I'm such a saucy bench. Uh, I'm going to use my concerned parent to um, to create invokes about like the impact of industry. Uh, and, because in addition to talking about like, is the water safe for my kids to drink? I'm going to be talking about how like a pillion, you know, like they need, they're going to be responsible because like it is important to this community. This community will hold them to these standards. Um, basically, I'm not like, advocating for the company but i'm pointing out that the company is responsible for the community as the community is responsible for holding them like their feet to the fire um my intention is to mechanically add um to do to, to create advantage to add a free invoker to to the impact of industry trying Absolutely. to involve that aspect that we have because a pillion is like i mean it's a force of nature in this town mm -hmm. um so i presume that i'm rolling concerned parent because that that's, seems that seems like the most appropriate, yeah. Excellent. Um, um, I'll I'll say that uh, your your difficulty is going to be a three on this one. Okay. Sounds good to me. 
Uh, let's go ahead and do some dice rolling. All right, that's great. I am good dad. Um, difficulty of three. You know what? I am going to take the failure and um, it's. I'm going to take the failure and Paul. I'm going to leave it up to you. But remember, those free invokes could go on the impact of industry and the favor of a Peleot core. That's right. Sorry. Once a GM, always a GM. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to show that, I'm going to use an X. For, I'm going to use an X for Amelia's uh, free invokes and a check mark for all of yours. Because the uh, little icons here are set up like random dice. I can just choose a different face to be showing. Just and just to be clear for my fellow players, I am not coming down on the side of the company. I'm just trying to like be a like like complex character. Yeah. Um, and trying to like stir up trouble because apparently well, yeah, that's what also, they do. Well, yeah. Also, like for my okay. own experience doing government stuff, like you don't, you, you got a good job. You like don't want to believe. You're just like, man. Can I just go back to where I didn't know this thing? I need to feed my kids. <laughs> don't tell me about that's where what Chick Fil A spends their money. Don't tell me about that. <laughs> don't tell me about Hobby Lobby buying, like, being like the villains from the Indiana Jones movies and yep. stealing all of those artifacts. I don't oh, need dear. to know that. I don't need to know well, that. Well, um, Randy, that you gonna, had, ended the turn, so we'll start. I was just about to say, I'm going to pass my baton to Grayson. Um, so Dana. Uh, you are welcome to go next. Okay, so Dana is going to uh, continue to push the issue and be like, the water is not safe. Like, I have I have the paper, and so, uh, like, we know that the water is not safe. We need to get this information out. We are going to do everything that we can to get this information out. Um, and just, like, they start screaming. Um, uh, yeah. And mechanically, I'm not really sure the. I mean, it sounds. It sounds like a. It sounds like a, an attack. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, still using. Still using relentless journalist. I imagine this sounds relentless. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, okay. yeah. And you have. Sorry. You have plenty of plenty of invokes to play with. Uh, uh, I'd. I'd actually like to use the is the water safe for my kids. Um, uh, one of the one of the invokes there. Is that cool, Randy? If, yeah, please, please. Cool. Okay. So let me. My let invokes, me your invokes. Deleted. And remind me, an invoke uh, is a plus two, right? Yeah, and in fact, you could you could choose to spend it after you see what the roll is. To be perfectly honest. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> so you could you could use one of those free invokes to re-roll that uh, that minus uh, a minus. I, I I'm gonna absolutely use uh. Okay, use that one is of them to re -roll. that. That is, there's an error. There's something wrong there, because you you were using relentless journalists, which is a plus four. Oh yeah. Okay. Roll 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 it again, because uh, I think something okay. got messed up in the die roller. There it is. Okay, that's, that's better. better. Yeah. Um, so if you want to use one of those free invokes, that would bump you up to a five. I um, yeah. Let's do that. If that's okay with everyone. And he's going to try and defend. And he also ends up with a five. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to chase that. So you don't, you don't, uh, you don't do any stress to him, but you do get a boost, which either you can save for your next action or hand to somebody else. But what you are going to hand to somebody else is the initiative. So who's going to go next? Um, I think that uh, Rebecca should go next. All right. So um, Rebecca is just whipping her phone around with all these things going on. She's having to adjust like her mic because the yelling. Um, so she she's not only recording, she's she's currently live streaming, hence the battery pack. Um, th the comments are flowing in, you know, just like, oh my God, how could this be happening? Like, you know, and a lot of it is just like, again, you know, another place that this is happening, like these corporations really need to be um, taken to task. Like there is just a deluge of um, comments. Uh, and 
what she she yells out um i guess either to the assistant or to uh mr garcia she's and she's almost like gloating at this point she's like you should really see the comments and how many people are watching this video online really not doesn't look good for you buddy and i'm using uh youtube science communicator to uh attack him yeah yeah attack him with my <laughs> Views. I want average. <laughs> okay. Well, do you want to? Uh, there are still some free invokes floating around. Uh, uh, yeah. Jason, you have a boost if you wanted to hand that over. You could use that. I would be, yeah, let's hand that over because I think it's a good combo. Okay. So that would bump you up to a three. Do you want? And then, um, uh, Grayson, you also control the free invoke on visibly shaken and randy you control the free invoke on is the water safe for my kids if all of those invokes are absolutely free to be used by anybody yep cool do you want to use them because right now you're at a three um, and we've seen how he's been rolling so far <laughs> god yeah i almost feel like i should re-roll i don't know here's the thing when it comes if to re rolls do... statistically um minus three or minus four on the dice which is what, she, which is what um, yeah. we, we she, have got, here. No, she has yeah. two negatives on the dice. There's three, it's three negatives. negatives. It's negative, negative, am zero, I, negative. Am I looking at the wrong thing? Dana, pink. Oh, I am looking at yep. the wrong thing. Yeah, you are looking at the wrong thing. Yeah. You know what? I'm a jerk. Go ahead and reroll. <laughs> I was going to say that it was me mechanically yeah. advantageous. And, you know, and you're, so. uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and is that. You have the invoke stunt on on YouTube Science Communicator if you wanted to invoke that to get a reroll and a plus two. I do. Um, so yeah, I guess let's hope that it's better. It is better, so that's a five. That's a um, five, and then yeah. So we'll say that the the boost was what you used to reroll, and then if you wanted to use the other free invokes to get that even higher than a five, you're totally free to. Uh, sure. I think it makes sense. Um, so what would it be if I did both of them? Uh, it would be seven, nine. Nine. Oh, do well. It. Yeah, yeah, let's just do it. Nova. Nova attack. Supernova. <laughs> you two Ray commentators. Yeah, he is, he's going to, he has some, like, as you're, as, as, uh, as, uh, Rebecca and Dana are kind of haranguing him, uh, from the, from the crowd, um, the rest of the press corps, like, is looking at you like, you know, how unprofessional are you people being you know, right now, you know? But, uh, so he does have some help on his side. Uh, wow, he's, he's rolling really I'm glad well. glad I took both now. <laughs> um, he's, uh, he's going to use one of the free invokes on the press on his side just to get up to a tie. So you'll have a boost on him uh, that you can hand out. Uh, but uh, who would you like to go next? You can give it to uh, Mallory or Randy or to Emilio. Uh, I kind of want to see Emilio's reaction. Just get okay. that over. <laughs> um, Let's see. Uh, yeah, the problem is it's not really worth Emilio like attacking any one of you because like mm, okay, he's kind of here on his job. Like, like his job is to field these questions and take it as like he's here to tank basically. Okay. Yeah. You know? Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um say that after that outburst, um she kind of goes, yeah, there's people here that are really concerned for their kids and kind of zooms in on um Rob Collins and you know who had just spoken. <laughs> so ready to go. You're up, Randy. Um, yeah. Um, uh, so I just kind of like stare at the little like YouTube video. I'm just uh, so you're recording me right now. Is that how you set up? All right, great. Uh, um, uh, hi, hi y'all. Uh, my name's Rob Collins, and and I am supposed to be on a job right now, but I stopped to find out what's going on with the Pillion to uh, figure out what's you know, uh, make sure everything's okay. You know, there, there've been lots of stories about fracking and a lot of my friends have jobs and are able to afford nice houses because of fracking. Uh, but apparently this is turning into a big old uh, fracking mess. Is that, is that funny? Is that what you, is that what y'all want? 
Um, anyway, mm, good coffee. Um, so I, uh, what I'd like to, I guess the question that I'd like to know is, is I'd like to, to ensure that there's some, some, uh, some water for my kids and I kind of am a bit lost. Um, I'm wondering if you, if we could get, uh, Mr. Garcia's, um, a little bit more clear spoken, uh, announcement on what the problem is. Um, so basically I'm going to be kind of like, um, uh, my intention is to like push back and kind of like ask, like, you know, in the folksy sort of way that I just did, like what, what's actually happening? Cause he hasn't said anything in plain language. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. in a way that like people can understand. So I'm, I'm do- using this as an attack sure, with yeah. concerned parent. Um, yeah. does that drive with you, Paul? Yes, that totally sounds like what you're doing. All right. Let's, uh, attack him with a concerned parent. I swing it and let's find out what I get. Ooh, I got a good roll. Considering I've got a plus four, that is not a good, one. but anyway, um, What's Emilio defend with? Okay. Yeah, like he's in uh, he's in full corporate mouthpiece mode, uh, and he defends with a four. Now, uh, Amelia, you have that boost. If you wanted to help Randy out here, you could give him a plus two on it. Would you like it, Randy? Uh, I would love that boost. Um, oh yeah. And uh, I, uh, so yeah, so that boost takes me up to a five against his four, and I'm gonna. Um, I'm going to pile on just a little bit more and spend a, um, a fate point and I'm going to use overwhelmed contractor. Um, so I, you know, I'm presume like, I'm just going to kind of like add on like, uh, y- you know, Mr. Garcia, the, the language that you use and everything is just, it's hard for a very busy working man and woman to understand what's going on. I need to know if the water is safe for my kids or not. Please use pl- plain language. Do I need to go to Walmart and buy some bottled water? So you're, uh, uh, you're, you're going spent, up to a, a seven on that? Yeah, I'm going to spend a fake point on overwhelmed contractor okay. because like, I, I have to get back to work. Yeah, um, so uh, at that point, uh, Emilio, like, he opens his mouth to like try and respond to you. And then uh, like, th- those of you who are, who are close, like close up to the podium, right in the front of the pack of the press, uh, you hear you hear a, a ringing uh, from his, from his, uh, his suit, jacket pocket like in, inside pocket and like he he was opening his mouth to respond to 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 rob and then he closes it and like looks down at his pocket like with this look on his face of like i forgot to turn the ringer off <laughs> and like pulls his cell phone out and uh and looks at it and 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 like frowns and puts it down on the podium um and he looks like he looks like he's you know very very worn out by this whole thing and like is just he's looking for any exit he can get out of this conversation uh, randy who he, are you giving it to uh he can always concede uh so uh i will he can concede he can, can he can yeah. he can concede the next time someone attacks him but i already uh, rolled his defense so uh, well i mean like he can choose to concede after the resolution of of this um, yeah, but I want to. I want to. I want to yeah, see what yeah. what Mallory wants to do. If you want to, yeah, I was going to say. I think Mallory's them. the only one left in this round, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah, yeah. right. Well, yeah, they're the um, only one. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, Tomas, go to town. Uh, Tomas is going to start uh, chanting, "Clean our water, clean our water," and going to get uh, the rest of the protesters there uh, to chant uh, with them. Clean our water, clean our water, and I'm gonna attack it with unexpected activists. Don't, don't, don't bother rolling. Describe to me how he makes his hasty retreat from this scene, because he's um, he's going to concede and like he's heading back into the building with the tech guy and just yeah. like abandoning the press conference. But describe he, it for uh, me. There's like careful. a uh, of the cell phone on the um, the podium. Nobody else can see it, obviously, but it says, get out of there or you're fired. Yep. <laughs> and um, mm-hmm. that's exactly right, because he, he, he just, actually he just kind of goes took, <laughs> and leaves. <laughs> he actually took a moderate consequence on that last attack of yeah. uh, of uh, heat from the brass. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. 
Yeah, I just wanted to let you have the opportunity to describe his, uh, his yeah. accent. Yeah, he just sighs uh, and says, uh, I'm sure, t- to the screaming protesters and the chattering um, reporters, uh, that'll be the end of our conference for today. Uh, if you have any questions, please direct them to blah, blah, blah. Uh, have a good day. Then leaves. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and uh, the... The, while the while the rest of the press corps is like starting to like pack up their gear, um, uh, Rob and uh, and and Tomas are over by the the uh, sort of protest crowd. Um, a uh, a man, uh, a middle aged, uh, 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 tall middle aged man with a with a, a close cropped beard and a um, like a um, kind of like a windbreaker kind of jacket with his hands kind of stuffed in the pocket is sort of very uh, nervously sidling toward the protest group from the parking lot. Um, and uh, uh, Dana and Rebecca, if you're if you're looking at the if you're because uh, uh, Rebecca, you were still filming the, the protest group because you had your camera on on, on Rob earlier. Uh, you two can see this this like nervous looking guy coming toward the protesters from the other side of the parking lot. Um, but uh, he this this guy comes up and uh, kind of because uh, Tomas, you're you're clearly the ringleader of the protest, and and Rob, you were you were an outspoken uh, uh, non activist at this at this thing that was still speaking up. This guy kind of eyes the two of you as sort of like the important people in this crowd of protesters. Um, and he's like, did I, did I hear right? It, it, and he's looking at Tomas. Did I hear right that you used to work for him too? Uh, Tomas nods, uh, breaking off from the uh, other activists and says, yeah, yeah, I did. Maybe, uh, maybe we should talk. Maybe we should uh, compare notes. Yeah, sure. I wouldn't mind that. Uh, you want to go grab a coffee or something? Yeah. He, he looks at, he looks at Rob and he's like, I have kids too. You're right to be worried. Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't want to, like, I mean, uh, you know, I'll buy bottled water if I have to, but, uh, you know, it's an extra expense. And if you're looking for good coffee, the, the A plus down off the highway, <laughs> it's really good coffee. Uh, not that, it's not that fancy, fancy Starbucks stuff, but it'll get you, it'll wake you up. Maybe we, uh, he looks. He looks back at, at Tomas. He's like, uh, maybe we could go to uh, Claire's Diner over on on Elm. Yeah, sounds good to me. I can get uh, some pancakes or maybe a slice of pie or something to go with that coffee. Uh, Dana and Rebecca, were you? Because uh, the rest of the press just packed up their stuff, got back in their vans, and, and drove away. Oh, I'm gonna wave. I, I want to wave Rebecca over. Oh yeah, she'll she'll come over. Uh, she's still like live streaming, but she's like wrapping it up and she's like, all right, everybody, like I'll be on later from the hotel room. Um, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Yeah. Don't, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Um, yeah, this, this whole situation is just, is just absolutely wild. Um, I really hope that things get resolved soon. Um, anyway, signing off. Good night. Yeah, she, as as you were walking, as you were walking in that direction, the, um, the, the, the guy in the windbreaker, like, very clearly is turning away from your camera. Mm-hmm. And she kind of looks over and she goes, no, it's okay. It's okay. I, I just ended it. Um, uh, Rebecca Stein uh, from, from Chembusters. Um, good morning. Uh, hey, you uh, want to do an uh, interview later? We could uh, use some more people uh, oh, yeah. get, get on the side of the oh, yeah, activists. Of oh yeah. Of course. If you're fine with, um, with appearing online, um, I'd I'd love to interview. Yes, of course. Um, and sir, um, it is a dude, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Like, no, <laughs> just mid, like, middle middle aged yeah. man oh, with a yeah. with a. With a uh, I was forgetting with the windbreaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, so, he um, says uh, uh, Pat Franklin. Pat Franklin. Yeah. If if you're not um comfortable appearing um in a video, or if you'd just like me to to write down a statement or or any or or nothing, that's fine too. Uh, just just let me know. Um, right. whatever you're comfortable with. There's just there's just a lot of a lot of weird bad stuff going on around around this town. I just want to 
see if there's anything that can be done to stop it. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I think, oh, sorry. Oh no, she just said, yeah, that's for sure. I, I was gonna say, I, I, I reckon the first bad decision you made is is um, your your selection of diners. Um, I believe that Ritter's is the superior place. <laughs> um, <laughs> It is uh, it is amazing for food of all at all hours. Um, uh, and next, if you don't mind, uh, you said your name was Rebecca, right, ma'am? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the uh, the video that you recorded. Is there any way you can do the the like the uh, blurring out my face and distorting my my voice? Oh no, sir! You you were li you were live streamed, but um, I mean for the for the vod, I can do that. I can um, it's the when people watch it later, I can I can make note of that. And she taps it into her phone. She goes, well, I, I, I'll I would, edit that part out for the video. Like I I would I would yeah. appreciate that, man. As, yeah, as, just... as you're as you're as you're asking her that, and she's she's uh, explaining, um, uh, two news vans with satellite dishes on top of them roll out of the parking lot right past you. <laughs> Because there she, were television reporters. In yeah, the, in the and, and she will kind of point point out and say, like, I mean, there were other people here, though, sir. I'm I'm sorry, but it, it won't be me if your name gets released. Wait, uh, she, wait a minute. Wait, I, are you telling me that I'm going to be on the local news? You might be. I'm, yeah, I'm probably. Sorry. Speaking of, and she kind of, like, looks over at, um, at uh, Adana um, and kind of waves and motions her over and uh, them over and goes, um, Hey, listen, I was just kind of making that up with the, the hidden chemical report. Like I was honestly totally <laughs> lying there, but the fact that you, you do have one. I mean, oh yes. God. Like I am thoroughly invested in, in this particular story. It, I, this town is my home now. And like, I, you know, I, I work for the local paper. Um, and this is a story that they don't seem to want to give proper attention to. And so, uh, of course, I'm going to I'm going to run tests and make sure that I have all the data so that they have to run my my stories. Yeah, no, I'm I'm really impressed. I I wanted to run a report myself, but with what I was able to do with my own tools, um, it turned out more or less the same as theirs. But it, I had some questions. So it something wasn't right. And you know, some of the plants looked different around the area I took samples from. So I, I don't know, it was just a wild shot, but yeah, thank you. No, I'm, I'm glad that um, um, somebody did the due diligence. Dan, Dana's just gonna hand the, the paperwork over. Um, publish this. My, my paper won't do it, so publish it. I will. Um, yeah. Well, it, uh, if, it's, if it's accurate, won't the paper, the paper should publish it. Not if they're paid off by Napoleon. Yeah. Which they are. Pat, Pat they're a just... huge sponsor during their uh, uh, <laughs> something something gala. Well, I mean the I mean <laughs> at, the, at, you at got that, a regatta, right? You know. They, uh, at, at that, they at that, that, Pat Franklin just kind of just kind of harumps and like gives like a little nod, but he seems to be nervously like looking like over your over your shoulders um, and kind of like starting to like edge back out like away from the building he's like uh yeah um you, you said ritters is better that's that's fine but we sh we should probably go their pancakes suck but yeah we can go there i, I <laughs> if anybody needs a lift i got a little bit of room in my truck thought you said you had to go to work well i do uh but i <laughs> you ain't never had a contractor not show up before <laughs> Don't know. Couldn't really ever afford one. It's that it's that six hour window that they give you. <laughs> well, it, uh, it it's quite all right. I'll I'll make it up to them. I'm more, I, you know, I've got to be concerned about little Ricky, Ramona, and Rich. Uh, I need to make sure that they can. They've got all of their food. Which, uh, by the way, I, I did consider Rebecca as the name for the for the youngest critter, but Ramona, uh, my wife, chose that one from a from a book series. <laughs> it's a good it's a good name okay so let's cut to <laughs> ritter's diner smash cut uh and uh you're we're all, not going to argue over directions on how to get there <laughs> nah <laughs> you, you gotta turn left where the kroger, kroger used to be 
<laughs> like, Rebecca can like barely drive, so she's just at the mercy of um, the local. If you local. get to the country fair, you've gone too far. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, 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 cir circle wipe to, uh, to Ritter's Diner. You're all seated around a, a big table. There's a, there's a platter of, uh, of pancakes and, uh, and, uh, uh, corned beef hash. And, uh, it's the four of you and, and, and Pat Franklin. He's, uh, he's, he's finally got his hands out of his, out of his, uh, jacket pockets. He's just sort of like, kind of like, uh, folding them on the table in front of him. He, he, he is clearly very nervous. Um, and uh, he says, I, uh, I was the one who did the, who did the initial surveys for Polyon on the water levels. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, well, they uh, their data is 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 uh, more accurate than than what I think you have there. Okay. Uh, they uh, they know they know what's going on. Of like, course they do. No... Of course they do. The uh, the oil industry uh, did a survey in the '50s to find out the impact of oil, and they've just been lying about it ever since. Why not everybody else, right? Yeah, same thing with cigarettes, same thing with this. Why not, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I, I mean, there's I mean, a reason why cigarettes are called coffin nails. I've never I, heard I, that. I meant, I meant more, more specifically, like, they know which truck did it. Oh, wait. How would they know that? That's, that's what I'm saying. They... They, they just keep it. really meticulous logs, I'm guessing. Wait, are we saying that they did it on purpose? Shh, shh, um, shh. I, don't, I don't think they did it on purpose, but I don't I think... I don't think anybody at Ritter's cares that we're talking about a billion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, you, oh, you sweet... Oh, you sweet child. Um, so anyway, now that the entire Randy, place knows... Randy... You yes. saying that, uh, that, that sounds like you're fishing for a compel. I, I'm always fishing for a compel. Always. Yeah. Um, I, it sounds like, sounds like business is booming for now might, uh, might be the, the compel here. Uh, yeah. as you, as you, the local, uh, small business owner is shouting about the major corporation and nobody caring at the diner. Somebody in this diner might actually care. Well, I'm saying no one cares that we're talking about a pillion, but apparently they somebody is getting pissed off at our conversation. So of course I will accept a fake point for whatever terrible thing is about to happen. Oh, I don't think it's gonna happen on camera right now. Oh, okay. So All right. I'll just, I, I'll I'll just put that one. Okay. Yeah. I'll just put that one in my back pocket for a little bit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You bank that. Yeah. See, no um, one cares. <laughs> it's a real shame that we're not like, you know, running in a park and I can't like compel my old injuries still acting up. <laughs> we can get, oh, we're we can, having this conversation. We, we can get there. The, uh, the, the stream that these water levels are, the, these chemicals are running through runs right alongside the city park. Like it's in, mm -hmm. it's in the book. So dang. If you, would, you know, if you end up going there and doing, you know, a, a firsthand investigation, we could clearly have some, there you go. Mm -hmm. some, misadventures in nature all right so pat uh, or mr franklin you said that the they know which truck it was um uh, and they know what's going on why don't they just take care of it that's funny yeah <laughs> yeah rebecca's uh picking at her uh, her chipped beef and just looks over and is like it's cheaper to just get sued like it's they didn't do anything it. in they didn't do anything in Kentucky. Where are they going to do anything here? Yeah, I, also, I just yeah. also I, the, they they aren't they aren't the source of it. Like somebody else put it in the ground like 50 years ago. So once they can track down who's who's legally liable for it, then they can just pass the blame off to them. But apparently there's a big snarl in the records, and they're not sure who actually put it there. Hmm. Hmm. 
So they're keeping it quiet until they can figure all that out. Yeah. But, but they know when it happened, how it happened. So do, do you know that? I don't have those details. I did the chemical analysis. Mm. But so when did when did you do the chemical analysis, though? Because we could backtrack from there, right? I mean, we could just yeah, go I, do another one right now. I, 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 I ran it. I ran it two weeks ago. Like right right after they started everything up. Hmm. I I didn't I didn't know why they were asking me. They they had just started. There shouldn't have been any sign of anything, but they brought me in last minute to run chemical tests on the water and who oh boy did I find something and yeah it I, I, I looked at him like this is not from what you're doing. What is this stuff? And they're like they they dismissed me summarily, I believe was the term on the, uh, on the, on the contract. I mean, legally, I can't even be talking to you about this right now. Oh, of course. So this is off the record then. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> well, what well are we... I wouldn't know anything about off the record. I served in the military. Everything's on straight up and up there. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. I know that I know that you you tube viewers like to find conspiracies everywhere. I'm just saying I'm cracking a joke. Okay. All right. Just just so so that you're aware and we're just gonna lampshade that and, and move on. Um so obviously all of us know this, but what what are, what are we even supposed to do about it? All we can do is continue to tell people to look into it. I don't know, fundraise, like I, you know, it's kind of depressing, you know, going around to all these places and then nothing ever happens. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm sick of it. You know, I, I, I really, I really want to see that something changes for the better here. I, I don't, I don't rightly know uh, if somebody could get inside their office building and find, they have a paper trail. They have a, a trail of information on this thing because they'll need it for whatever you know lawsuit ends up coming down the road once they figure out who to pass the buck to. But if somebody could could get it, then you blow the whole thing wide open. But I I do not have access. Let me put it that way. Yeah, I would say uh, this was a couple weeks ago. I probably could get into that building because I did work for them, but uh, well, that is past tense. No, um, I, I, hmm. you all, you all, you all see that like he uh, he kind of he kind of just kind of gives a gives a shrug and like is is like is looking down at, at the table. He's you know playing with his hands. Um, and uh, you see that uh, he's playing with like a little, um, like a, um, like a little medallion or, or something, like maybe like a, a saint's medallion or something. Um, and uh, Tomas, uh, I'm gonna offer you a. I'm gonna offer you a. a, a uh, compel yes. on, your, on your weirdness <laughs> magnet there. Um, yes. I can tell Mallory's been playing with me for a long time. Yeah. Yes. So, I want to offer you I a compel. Use, yes. I didn't used to like compels. I yeah. want them now. <laughs> and the since, same, your, yeah. since your weirdness magnet has the has the compel stunt, if you mm -hmm. wanted to, instead of taking the fate point, you could create a situation aspect with two free invokes. But uh, there is definitely something about this this medallion that's like drawing you in mm -hmm. do you just would you just like the fate point or would you like to create a situation aspect about what might be going on here that's caught your attention hmm. would i know what's going on here or... your character doesn't have to okay but you as a player can certainly okay tell, tell me what's happening to your character right now could it be like something like fey intervention Sure. That's very nebulous, but I think that probably works. Yeah. It's something with like a free free invokes on it. What kind of intervention is it? Oh. 
Okay. I mean, it's I, it's I, it's like, potentially helpful to you because you're getting free invokes on it. Yeah. I mean, the other thing is, I mean, he can use it too against us, <laughs> but not for free. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have the thing with the free invokes. I mean, I need fate points back, but I could try and to get like this, this later. is this is a this is a situation aspect. It it can stick around as long as it's you know true. Mm -hmm. So there we go. I'm gonna remove this stuff that I had earlier. Um, Shoot, I think I'm down a fate point. And I never marked it. I have done so. Okay. So yeah, you're you're watching him sort of like just sort of fiddle with fiddle with this medallion and. It's the darndest thing. You hear like, like bells, like on, like on a, like a, uh, like on a cat's collar, sort of mm. that little like tinkly silver kind of bell sound. At every time he like fiddles with this medallion, mm. and it's just, it's just weird, and like it's like got your full attention to the point where like the rest of you see Tomas kind of like zone out mm -hmm. of the conversation. <clears throat> well, uh, if we wanted to discuss how we're going to try to get in there, um, can either you two looking at, uh, hold on, Dana or mm. Rebecca, uh, <laughs> um, get like some press credentials maybe for an interview or something? Maybe we're your camera crew or something like that? Yeah, yeah I mean, not camera crew because I work for a newspaper, but I can try to get us all press credentials. I mean, I'd be faking them but other than for myself, but... Yeah, maybe your newspaper's branching out into video. Into video? Yeah, maybe, oh, yeah, like, maybe. like that TikTok stuff or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Um, I'll let them know that I'm going to try a new, a new platform. Um, TikTok sounds like a great opportunity for us as a as a paper to get to connect with the younger audience. So yeah, let's. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, that one website I like to go to is real funny. It's like, how do you do, fellow kids? Real funny. <laughs> um, so, just then, uh, Pat, like. Um, kind of like ha, ha, like has a look on his face like oh and like pulls his sleeve up and he, you see he's got like a smartwatch on um and uh he he, he reads it and he says I, I i have to go i'm i'm i have to go and he just pushes away from the table and just rushes out of the diner okay <laughs> and tomas the, you see oh. you see that he left a little medallion on the table i'll take it I'm going to take the chicken fried steak that he didn't eat and I'm going to scrape it onto my plate. <laughs> of course. Um, Tomas, when you touch the medallion, you very clearly hear the sound of a bell like mm. in, inside your head. Mm -hmm. And it feels not painfully so, but it feels cold to the touch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll just put it in my pocket so I don't have to touch it anymore. <laughs> Did did any of us like even get that guy's phone number or anything? Like, are we even gonna be able to find him again? Nah, I'm sure we're gonna see him again. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, his name's his name's Pat Franklin. That doesn't seem like that. That does seem like fairly common name. That's a really common name. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Rebecca Pat Googles it and it's like thirty-three thousand results? <laughs> well, um, uh, so I know that that y'all talking about like trying to get in with like credentials and stuff like that, but you know um, another way could be through like some construction, uh, you know, on in the office building. Perhaps there's uh, perhaps uh, sorry, out of character. Perhaps there's some construction going on at the um, building, and we could we could spend a fake point to declare that there's construction going on in the building. Um, and use that as part of our like opportunity to like get in to what's going on. Like we could do a two pronged approach, like mm -hmm. journalists, you know, trying to inquire and distract while um, Rob and somebody else kind of like go like breaks into the room, 
or breaks into uh, the office to try and the, do the, it. The hitman approach. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think yeah. I, I'm just I'm suggesting this because like the way like that it. your three characters are set up, it's so obvious that you guys are like the like the three amigos, and then here I am, I'm the like I don't know the horse. So I'm trying uh, to make sure that like well, I Tomas can is going to speak up and say actually that's probably a better idea for my skill set anyways. Uh, I do some locksmithing work for money now since, well, mm. can't really work at the mines anymore, so. Paul, I, mean, I spent honest, my fate honestly, point to declare that story detail. Gotcha. Awesome. I mean, honestly, they're not going to want to see me as a reporter after that, uh, so I might I might be better off just coming as a construction worker. Yeah, Rebecca yeah but you, you, here, here's the thing. They're going to be looking for you to sneak in with like, you know, like your hair tucked up underneath your hat, like the song. Um, and, but I think if you come in through the front door trying to get their attention, then that's just going to draw them in, you know, sort of like how you leave out a salt lick to get the deer to, to come into the field. And then you remove the salt lick a couple of weeks before deer season and the deer used to come in there for food. And it's like shooting deer, deer, deer in a barrel. I don't think that's yeah. how that works, but, uh, yeah, I think. Well, I don't think Rebecca, you're a hunter, you should... so that's all right. <laughs> Rebecca, I don't feel disrespecting think... you and your top picks. Rebecca, I think you should uh, go with Dana uh, and act as the video consultant. No, you're no, you're right. Um, yeah, no. If you want right. to, I think it might be a good idea to probably put on like a hat and some different glasses. Yeah, because I'll, um, yeah, yeah. If there's one thing that. Um, corporate men are really good at it's uh not recognizing when a woman has changed her style <laughs> my wife yeah. tells me that all the time she's like how do you like my haircut i'm like did you get a haircut <laughs> which one <laughs> which one <laughs> you got your oh hair did yeah. congratulations <laughs> and she nods and she's like yeah 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 no yep good idea i'll i'll um put my hair up in a ponytail and Wear a hat, and I'm sure none of them will recognize me because you're very right. All right. Well, what do we Smash need to do? Me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so is uh, is Dana going in le as legitimate press? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna say that we're trying out the trying out new uh, TikTok to reach a younger audience. Um, okay. um, I'm going to ask you to make an, uh, an overcome with your, uh, with your relentless journalist, just to get that set up and see how, see if there's any fallout from that. You can do it, Dana. You can do it. You got this. Ooh. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was, I was going to say, uh, that it would be, uh, a four difficulty. Would you like to succeed with a cost? Sure, I'll succeed at a cost. That sounds fun. Absolutely. You've arranged a personal guided tour of their building oh, no. with Emilio Garcia himself. Yep, I was going to say definitely Emilio Great. Garcia. Like this is this is a puff piece trying to recover from the horrible press conference. Yep. Mm -hmm. I I think that's perfect. It's <laughs> great. Yeah, I have I've got my hair and a you know ponytail and like a black tasteful black baseball cap and like my makeup is completely different new glasses i i've dressed myself purposely to look like an intern <laughs> <laughs> awesome yes um and then uh uh randy you've already declared that there's construction going on in the building and obviously yeah. you're you got the job <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the thing is, is like, you know, Tim wasn't feeling so well because he would drank too much at the bar last night. So I told him, I said, listen, just, you know, we look reasonably alike. You can just give me your identification and I'll take care of the job for you tomorrow. And like, I mean, part of doing this means that I have to do the work because I don't want to leave Tim in a lurch. But like, he's a bit hungover today. So it kind of worked out well for everybody. Yep. So we smash cut to... Uh... Dana and Rebecca arriving at the front of the office building, uh, you know, walking into the lobby. Um, and uh, Emilio is there, you know, all, you know, sm smile looks, looks totally real once again. Um, and, uh, and says, oh, 
it's so it's so good to to to, to see you again. I, I I know we uh it was a it was a it was a harrowing day yesterday that that press conference. I I feel really bad that we got off to such a such a, a unsteady first step. I I want you to know that we here at Apollyon we pride ourselves on transparency and honesty, and I want I want you to know that I, I really appreciate you. you Reaching out to us, and 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 I'm looking forward to showing you around. Uh, they they put on their biggest, fakest smile possible. Of course, Mr. Garcia, we at uh, the Still Hollow Ledger are here to make sure that all sides are visible, are 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 available for the public to make their own opinions about what's going on. So we're here just to. Get your side of the story. We have one side, and it's just going to be so great to hear your side. Absolutely. Let, shall we get pain, started? The pain in the voice. Yeah. <laughs> Sh shall we get started? And he gestures. He gestures toward the, like the bank of elevators behind the receptionist desk. Of course. Now, are you familiar with TikTok? Because we're going to be doing this you on know, TikTok, so there I, will be. Lots of short videos, lots of good cuts. I um, I, I, I I am moderately familiar with TikTok. Uh, my my niece is just about to have her quinceanera, and it's all she can talk about. They're going to be doing the ticks and, and talks at the at the party. I don't. I'm sorry. Have they I, been <laughs> Have they been practicing their dance moves? Because that's that's huge on TikTok right now. My yeah. sister has been complaining for a month that the basement is filled with. God knows what music, but I, I'm told reliably that yes, they are practicing. Nice. That's that's going to be such a good memory to capture uh, for for the quinceanera. Yeah, I wish I I wish I could fly out there. It's 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 next weekend, but uh, unfortunately, business is business. Of course, of course. Anyway, follow me. And we cut to uh, the uh, third floor, uh, which is currently completely gutted. You know, uh, they're doing a lot of electrical work. There's drywall going up on one end of the building, and uh, and uh, Rob and uh, Tom Tomas is in with the construction crew, right? Yes. Okay. So you you two you two are uh, bringing in one of those big rolling uh, tool tool chests uh, up out of out of a, a service elevator that's in the back corner of the building, uh, and the, the the crew is up there and they'd all just sort of nod and get back to what they were doing. Man, there's there's a lot that they need to be doing here. I, they tore this place down. I gotta start measuring stuff and make sure that it's. <laughs> Going the way that it needs to be. Let's see. Let's make sure this is the way it's going. Good. All right. What do we got here? All and right. And you make you you Good you stuff. make you make yeah. your way you make your way immediately to like the little the little room that they like did they drywalled up first to like put like paperwork and stuff in and they're right on the uh uh like a sawhorse table. There's a uh, um blueprints for the for the building just laid out right right there for for the crews to reference oh that's great yeah. i'm gonna go take yeah. a look at it and see where they keep their files listen uh, to Tom thomas Tom thomas 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 thomas, thomas. thomas i gotta i gotta tell you thomas. i don't think I'd, uh, thomas i got thomas. Say, i don't have a thomas <laughs> is yeah, this sure, a that's fine this is no, a character thing you're doing. This is right? a bit. This is me li literally like just oh it's not a bit i thought it was a bit. <laughs> no, it was a bit. no it's it's me failing as a person. It's Tomas. Okay. Tomas. It was an Tomas. F, not a Z. Yeah. You're Tomas. like saying it was Tomas. Tomas. Yes. There you go. Tomas. There you go. All right. You got it. All right. All right. Tomas. All right. Tomas. Like boss. Like Haas. My Haas to boss. Tomas. Tomas. Tomas the boss. Anyway. All yep. right. Listen. All I know is is that I am not surprised to find these blueprints out here in the open where there is not a, a single person responsible for them because you know what? I was checking that drawer, the, the chest that we brought, and wouldn't you know it, I went into the drawer that was labeled hammers, and this is what I found inside of it. This is not a responsible work site. That's not a so, hammer. I, that's exactly my point, Tomas. Okay. <clears throat> um, 
So yeah, if you if you want to roll your um, mine engineer who's seen too much, that that seems like you would know how to read a bl blueprint. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my cat has decided to join me. You Little might cat see cameo. Him. Yeah, Which kitty. one? Coda. Coda. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to? Uh... So. Oh, dear. You, yeah, I'm, right, right I'm going to take a plus two cost? from, say, intervention. Awesome. Oh, My please. eyes glow. I don't know. But there's there's something that's directing me to where I need to be able to see I've, it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, uh, you uh, you're looking over the blueprints, and uh, do you, ever, you ever see the, uh, the old kids show on PBS, Ghost Rider? Back in the day? I have not. I might should... dimly remember it, yeah. It was it was a there was a ghost that could only communicate by rearranging letters from printed things around it. Oh no, I was kids. born in nineteen ninety two. Ah. That's when the show was on. Yeah. So <laughs> well, you know, it, it did run in reruns for a while, but not that long. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, so like the like the print on this blueprint starts to like float up off the paper and your eyes are drawn to a section on um on the uh, the second floor, which is you know one level below you, that has a lot of um, uh, a lot of extra power and uh, like mm. uh, conduit lines running into it that would probably indicate some kind of server room or something. But like okay. for a moment, your system. Yeah, for a moment, you're not even weirded out by the by the visual of it, and then you realize that's. Wait, that's weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tomas is just kind of going to be like... Yep. <laughs> just say uh, to Rob, uh, yeah. we need to go to the second floor about right about here. I think that's where we need to go. All right, well, I reckon we should get started and get on our way up. <laughs> I'll just bring my hammer. <laughs> uh, you got any tool belts lying around? Maybe look, I'm supposed to... Yeah, mm -hmm. here's a here's a couple of tool belts. Uh, here's some legitimate tools in them too. Uh, I'm I'm right. assuming that that you know how to you know, you know what some of the common tools are, right? I worked in a mine. Yes. All right. <laughs> That's well. You know uh, the like the our our YouTuber friend um, uh, Rebecca. Like you know I I don't know that she would know that this was not a hammer. Um, but then again, I have to be honest, I don't know what a talk tick is. So, like, there's... I, I guess it has a master's in organic chemistry. I, I guess I it's a, She ran I, a lab. Shh. It didn't come up at Ritter's. No, no, we no, like, that, like, that's, what, that's what we call irony. Yeah. 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 So, we, okay. all, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. Yep. Anyway, so we, uh, let's, uh, got, let's go up to the second floor. He's got the spirit. <laughs> let's go up to the second floor. So we cut we cut back to uh, our walking tour, and Emilio has taken you through some of the offices and uh, up to the uh, up to the second floor, which is basically just you know wall to wall cubicles. Um, the, the 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 building is is uh, he's like we we moved in here last year, you know, we wanted to get up and running pretty quick. We are hoping uh once the work is done on the third floor, we will be able to move these folks up there and we really want to open this space up, you know. We we want people to be able to collaborate, communicate, move around, see who's doing what. Um these cubicles are only here temporarily, of course. Uh and uh he uh he just starts taking you around, you know, you you see a number of people just Seems a lot of accounting stuff going on around around this this area, um, and uh, he he takes you uh, through sort of like there's like a sort of a, a, a hallway with actual like doored offices in sort of the center of the of the, the building at, that goes from one big cubicle section through this hallway to another cubicle section and he's leading you through there and you see one of the doors is not actually an office as far as you can tell it is a solid steel door with a like um uh, electronic keypad lock on it um mm -hmm. like there's an electronic keypad on the wall and like a big like bulky 
doorknob assembly on the door itself. Um, and uh, he doesn't make any comment of it, but the two of you are aware of it as you go past it. Like, that looks promising. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's uh, very obviously a uh, a chip card reader, uh, mm -hmm. you know, which is what you, they use for complete lockdown access, you know, and it's one of those heavy steel doors that's like complete seal. Like Rebecca's looking at like the seal around the door and like, mm, yep. Yeah, it, it, it like definitely indicates with her eyes. It definitely like you look just looking at the construction, you would recognize as a as a you know laboratory scientist, there is definitely a heavy duty fire suppression system behind that door mm -hmm. yeah it's to prevent stuff from getting out yeah. slash in yeah. um but yeah she's still in you know like haha it's my first day mode so <laughs> she's just like directing um emilio to like it's all like softball stuff that she asked for TikTok of like, oh, like what are the new offices gonna be like? Are you really excited? Like, oh, come over here by this plant and do this dance, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he he is he is uh, doing his best to oblige you. Yeah. Um, he's actually a pretty good dancer. Yeah, she's she's like begrudgingly um, impressed and and does post that. <laughs> yeah. But you see at the far end of the at the far end of the room, past all the cubicles, there is a uh, uh, like an alcove which you can see in a set of elevator doors in. And and as you're like getting him to do various things for the camera, um, one of you glances over and you see the elevator doors open and uh, Rob and Tomas come out with you know like tool belts and stuff on. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to uh, basically uh, start directing a little bit more. Uh, so uh, why don't we actually get a really good shot of you over by this window over here? And I kind of like leading him kind of so that his back is towards um, the elevator. Yeah. Um, how about you give me? How about you give me an overcome? Or, or possibly a create an advantage, depending on how we want to get them to uh, sneak by. Um, I would say it's probably more of a create an advantage for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to create an advantage basically by distracting him. So uh, yeah. misdirection. So what would um, you? What? Uh, which of your skills do you think would be best for that? Uh, it's a little hard. Um, I'm thinking, I mean, it's still relentless journalism or journalist, I think, because it's about getting the picture um, sure. and and making sure that there's nice flattering light, which, you know, you want nice soft light from a window because natural yeah. light is better. I'm very open to whatever argument people make for which of their skills they want to use. Mm -hmm. Hey, OK. So, yeah, sure. and there's there's nobody uh, there's nobody opposing you. So that's that's actually going to succeed with style. So you're going to give two free invokes for, cool. for them. So, um, so yeah, it'll just be like misdirection. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother making a card for it because okay. it's basically going to be done once they once they make their, their attempts to sneak by. So yeah, right. uh, Rob and Tomas, you need to get yourselves over to that, to that door without anyone questioning or stopping you. Oh, darn. Uh, Randy, I'm going to make this really hard on you because uh, this tool belt, it's really heavy on my hips. Causes a little bit of a misalignment. I gotta walk a little bit funny, and it's oh, no. really, are you, are really seems injuries to, acting up? Yeah, it seems to really be causing my injuries to be acting up. Oh, damn your luck! I know, uh, ah, darn. Uh, well, you can take uh, a fate point, and uh, yeah. Well, well, here's the nice thing about good old Rob Collins is that you know while I'm happy to be home, I am a veteran, so I'm used to getting people out of trouble even when they're hurt. So basically like as we start walking your hips start hurting and you kind of like start to like wobble and mm -hmm. like, you know, Emilio kind of, um, yeah, Emilio Garcia kind of starts to turn to look, um, gets distracted by Dana. And then I basically just kind of like grab you from underneath your like arms, uh, or rather I throw you over my shoulder and firemen carry you like down the hallway, like military style, just to kind of like get out of there quick. Yeah. Um, so fortunately, like, I mean, 
I think no one else is in the hallway, but Amelio won't see Emilio um, Garcia may not see us. So yeah, I'm go going to use veteran happy to be home to try and uh, overcome this problem that you've created. Which is that's cool. You're welcome. Um, all right. I'm gonna so uh, do you want to set a difficulty or do you want me to just Yeah, go um it's going to be a four. Oh because, good. Of, because you're using... carrying a full human being. Yeah, yeah Tomas is just gonna be like, oh what's up? Oh, all right. All right, let's see. Oh, I got a four, which is a tie. Ooh, dang. So that is success at a minor cost. And I well, don't always... forget that you've got the free invokes on the on the misdirection advantage. Oh, um, yeah. OK, then I'll, I'll use that up since that's going to go away. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yes, you did that. And those like the misdirection was like you, somebody probably would have like like one of the office workers might have like noticed you, but like literally everyone is like not nobody in this cubicle farm is working everybody's kind of like up leaning over their cubicle walls watching one of their bosses just get completely manhandled by the press <laughs> awesome. so you 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 carry tomas very yes. quickly off into that into that hallway um and now you're in front of the security door uh and i will i will let tomas um hand me uh, their belt um, that way like you know you don't you don't have to suffer in pain if, if you would have told me that I would have gotten you a different tool belt well I didn't really think it was gonna flare up my uh, arthritis I don't know what makes sense sciatica <laughs> sciatica yeah sure okay we'll go with that <laughs> my lumbago <laughs> my lumbago <laughs> <Got it. laughs> my lumbago I can't. I can't do his voice. Yeah, right I mean, it, it could. It could be anything. You could have been caught in a, like a partial collapse and have like yeah. nerve damage or something. Yeah, like, I'm thinking like some pinched nerve kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, that's all sciatica is is a low back pinched nerve. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, now that yeah, now that we know a, about it, it's it's fine. I've got I've got two tool belts now. I throw one of them over my shoulder. So yeah, the uh, the issue that you see is that there is a there is a a you know, physical tumbler lock on the door, but there is also an electronic keypad card reader thing, mm. which, you know, those can be bypassed, but it's going to be, it's going to be far more difficult than just picking a lock. Yeah. Well, I could probably maybe try to get us through the physical lock. I'm not really sure about the, this keypad though. Mm-hmm. I kind of look over to Rob, unless you know how to do social engineering to get one of these office workers to get us in here. I'm not really sure how well, successful we're going to be. Well, I, I'm not, I'm not pretty good at, I'm not uh, too good at building things with people. So I don't think that's going to happen too much. Well, I could try to do the physical one see if maybe that'll bypass the keypad. It might just be something as simple as, you know, the keypad just unlocks the door. Uh, so I'm going to try to open it with my part-time locksmith. So. It's, a, yeah, it's a difficulty three, just for your reference. Okay. I think this is another fantastic time to use the Fey Intervention free invoke. I have magic fingies now. Mm -hmm. Um... So that brings you up to a three. Would you like to succeed with a minor cost, or do you want to push yourself with a fake? Uh, I'm gonna push my felt. Push my felt. I'm gonna push myself with a fate point. <coughs> I mean, technically, you could pay to invoke fey intervention again, or you could uh, invoke one of your. You, know, you could invoke part-time locksmith or something. Yeah. Um. I'll just just, de just depending on how you want to. F okay. Um, okay. Yep. I'm good. So while you're, uh, while you're picking the, uh, the, the physical lock, um, you hear that, that tinkling of, of bells again, and you actually look up and you see, uh, you see the, the buttons on the keypad, like different buttons are glowing, like someone's pressing them while you're 
picking the physical lock. And as mm -hmm. you finish picking the physical lock, you also hear the magnetic lock disengage. Awesome. All right, well, I guess we're in. And you Open go in, the door. you go in, and it is, it is, it is a server room. Um, and, you know, it's, it's being cooled, but it's not, like, cool in there. It's still pretty warm in the room. It's mm -hmm. just, you can hear the AC system cranking. To keep Straining, it at, yeah. <laughs> Trying yeah, to this, keep the Keeping it at this temperature. Cool. Yeah. yeah. But the two of you are able to slip inside. Um, and uh, you are now in the room. All right. I pull out the from my, my pocket the sheet of paper that... Um, Oh goodness! What was it? Rebecca and Dana gave to us for what to look for in the server room. That so I wrote you just, down. Yeah, you you just start uh, the uh, the there's a little uh, there's a little terminal uh, on on one of the like server racks, like a like, small mm -hmm. monitor with a keyboard kind of sticking out of it on on a tray. Yeah. Um, and uh, you, you, you don't know how somebody could get away with this, but there is a little yellow post-it note under, like you can see, you can see it just barely sticking out from under the keyboard. So like you have to lift the keyboard up out of the tray. Yeah. <laughs> but like somebody left it. Somebody left a username and password on a post-it note under oh, the keyboard. Oh, God. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. They figured, you of know, course. if anyone gets in here, they're meant to be in here with the two locks on the door. Like, yep. come on. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, get in here. Mm -hmm. We've got physical so, security. It's okay. So you are able to log in to this server terminal uh, and start, like, doing people, searches people, people, people. for these, these terms that, that they gave you to look, look for. I would like to do something and then uh, in this scene, I want to do something and then I'm going to pass it to, um, to Tomas, uh, Tomas. Uh, anyway, Tomas. Uh, yeah, you said it right. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, I'm trying. I'm really trying. Oh, you're um, good. So what I want to do is I want to like that sheet of paper that I said, like, you know, what we're supposed to look for and what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I want to kind of like do a little bit of a flashback um, and be like, just like us at Ritter's and me going like, Okay, so it, when we're in the server room, what do we need to look up? What are the search terms? How do you spell that? Are there alternative spellings? Like going through and like getting as much information on this like sheet of paper as possible. Stuff that would be like super obvious, but when like we're in the moment, maybe whenever like our, you know, we're, um, the adrenaline's pumping, we wouldn't remember it, but basically having taken like copious notes that we had collectively done, I'm assuming that this ties into my being a concerned parent and making sure that like I write down all of the things that like the parent teacher conferences tell me, um, all of like the, the YouTube videos that I watch on how to parent and, you know, uh, the, the very detailed lists that my wife gives me of things to do. Um, mm -hmm. I basically want to create advantage, like good notes, um, sure. Uh, to aid with what I presume is going to be Tomas uh, searching the server, because I do not think that Rob is the right person to be on that keyboard. I I agree with that a hundred percent. So yeah, go ahead and make a uh, make a, a create an advantage action. All right. Um, difficulty That's... two. All right. I got a three. Okay. So, so you yes. Get one one free invoke on yep. that. The the aspect like good instruction, good notes. Something yeah, along goodness. those lines. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Tomas, how would how would Tomas be looking through, like what what's uh, what's your best skill for this? Do you think? Oh God, to search. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, like this is this is Let me see. this is this going, is going to, to like break your like this is going to be like the core of your, your activism. If you wanted to use unexpected activist, I would totally. Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're going to give me that, then I'm going to take it. <laughs> so I mean, it's just, was, it's, it's yeah. literally, it's literally just like, cause it, it can come down to like, what's, what's motivating you to do this action as, as much yeah, as, yeah. Okay. This isn't, this isn't a strictly like you have to be technically savvy to do this. It's literally just a search box in Windows Explorer or whatever. Yeah. Know? 
Yeah, I was going to argue for mine engineer who's seen too much because engineer detail oriented, yada, yada, yada. But uh, if it doesn't have to be pure, purely mechanical, then I will happily roll unexpected activist. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you easily, you easily overcome the difficulty on that one. Yay. And uh, actually, you, you, like, you, you're like, Rob is sort of like reading you the notes that he took, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, and start typing in a few search terms, and like, you're like, oh yeah, those were really good notes, because here's the inf- here's the file, uh-huh. like complete with dates and like deposition of the of the backhoe driver and like uh, mm. like sp- exact GPS coordinates of the accident and. Like it's the mother load. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. Well, with all this information in yeah. our hands, what could go wrong now? <laughs> just, now, now you just got to get out. Mm-hmm. I have some ideas for that. Well, let's cut it back might, outside to, uh, it might not be good for the two of us, but hopefully it should allow the two of you to get out is my idea. <laughs> Well, let's let's cut back out to the TikTok crew. Yep. The TikTokers. We are we are TikToking. Um, I imagine <laughs> we've we've wandered over to like the kitchen or somewhere. You know, like we've been wandering mm-hmm. around the past, you know, however many minutes that. Yeah. They've been they, up to this TikTok. Some right? somebody brought in donuts, so like there's a few like, kind of, starting to go stale donuts in the in the break room. Of course. The coffee's pretty good, though. Coffee's pretty good. Yeah, so... Uh, so Rebecca kind of wants to say something about... Like, I don't know if we can see them, like, leaving now at this point. Or, you know, we think, not, like... Not, they not might really. Leave soon. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Rebecca, like, will get very close over to um, to Dana and be like... Okay, so they got in fine, but we have to make sure that nobody goes over there when they're leaving. Um, I think we need to like cause a bigger diversion. Um, That's what I was thinking. Oh, oh, I've got an idea. Yeah? What if we try to get everyone in the building to take part in a TikTok video? (laughs) Oh, yes. So it would be be really inconvenient. It would be really inconvenient if somebody walked into the break room right now and recognized Rebecca, wouldn't it? It would be, yeah. Darn, yeah. D- darn your luck. Yeah, <laughs> darn. I know. Would you, would you, would you like a fate point? Uh, yes. For a compel on your uh, yes. unlikely celebrity. Uh, yeah. Because as cool as cool as that idea is, that was my <laughs> that was one of my other ideas. Not good for us. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, so you can either take the fate point, or if that is hmm. you, you do have do have the compel stunt on on there. You could, you could turn it around and make a create advantage that would help with that other plan. Yes, I think I'll do that, because I think maybe more people will be likely to come if they know it's connected to so me... someone who is minorly slash mildly internet famous, especially the younger people. <laughs> Like, yeah. I'm gonna call this flash mob. Yes. Combine them. <laughs> Just a God, friendly flash reminder. Flash mobs haven't you... been a thing so long. They haven't. <laughs> Just a friendly reminder: you can like and subscribe to the channel that you're watching right now, the Fate SRD <laughs> YouTube channel. Um, we also have a Fate Patreon uh, at patreoncom slash fate underscore SRD or just SRD. If you search Fate SRD, you'll find it on Patreon. Thank you. Don't forget to ring that bell as well to get notifications. <laughs> we don't do enough videos for that. We see that forty percent of you. We see that forty percent of you are that are watching have not subscribed yet. <laughs> no, I'm not serious. <laughs> That's not serious. Freeloaders. I those Freeloaders. I will say the bell is actually important Bluey. because it gets you more views. Oh, it does. the algorithm. Yeah. It's the algorithm. Help, help us beat the algorithm. And. It reminds me, I watched Space Jam, A New Legacy with my daughter, and oh. let me just tell you that it is terrible. I mentioned that because... <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I no, I knew... That, I mentioned that because the bad guy is Algy Rhythm. Yes. Oh, so, no. Yeah, yeah poor the algorithm. from the MCU. 
Oh, oh boy. So. Okay, well let's uh so yes, you're in the in the break room, like heads together. Emilio has like gone over to pour himself a cup of coffee and uh a uh a, a young woman in uh you know like nice you know business attire uh uh comes in. She's got um uh she's got like a little, you know, tablet that she's, she's reviewing something on and she looks up and she like stops and like does like a head cock thing as she sees Rebecca le- leaning, leaning over, whispering to, to Dana. And, yeah. and she, she just says, Chem Busters? Um... And, and uh, Emilio over at the counter, like, like looks up from his coffee <laughs> And is like starting to turn turn around towards you. She's like, say he's whiplash. <laughs> yeah, he's not whiplashing, but like, he, he he like, and she's like, are you, are you Rebecca Stein from Chembusters? And she debates internally for a minute. She's like, shit, do I do I own up to this or do I not? And then she kind of weighs and she's like, you know, given we are about to do the flash mob, maybe more people will come. If I so then she she's like and yeah yeah I'm I'm she, here with the partnership with the local newspaper to help them with she, their, um, their videos. She she's like she gets this like huge grin on her face. She's like, oh my god! And she holds up her tablet and she just taps it. And very <laughs> clearly, she just like sent a picture of you to everyone on Slack. <laughs> ding 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 all over the office. <laughs> And she's like, I watch all of your videos. I think you're amazing. What you do for science communication, for the kids, it is spectacular. And oh, you- Emilio has definitely turned around to look at you now. <laughs> with like, yes. just this like, like, there's just this tiny crease between his eyes as his eyebrows kind of pull together a little bit. Yes, she's like... Well, you know, we were just wrapping up our visit here. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm so, I'm so glad you're to to meet you. Two, um, two people kind of like pop their heads through the like around the the doorway from either side of the break room doorway, yeah. and they're like, "We thought you were kidding." No, I'm I'm here. Um, we we we're just wrapping up here. We were gonna do. Uh, we had this idea to do a um a massive TikTok with everybody, you know, doing a boomerang where you jump in the air and jump back down, like showing like the awesome culture here. Like you hear a thunk. Yeah. You hear a thunk from behind you as Emilio just sort of puts his coffee very <laughs> purposefully down on the counter. And she's like not turning his way. <laughs> she's like afraid. Uh, so Dana Dana is gonna like turn towards Emilio uh, and kind of like close the distance. Oh, you know, after the the press conference, like we really wanted to try out this video stuff, and like Rebecca is just really good at video, and so we struck up a deal. She's gonna help us create our TikTok. Um, again, we're here for fair and balanced reporting. And you know we want to show both sides, and Rebecca just absolutely agreed to do that. Oh, totally, she says, like dying on the inside. <laughs> so I, I think I think one of you needs to make an overcome um, on uh, Emilio to get him to not like just Agro, throw yeah. throw you out of the building. Uh, <laughs> like, and I think whichever I one of you does it can get a plus one teamwork bonus from the other one because you're both clearly working this guy together. Yeah. Um, it, the only thing that I could think is like young and eager, like come across as like I'm just eager to to like make a name for myself. Um, no matter what that means. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, for for no for what. your for your skills, I. Uh, I could see former trust fund kid might work here. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. for Sorry, like schmoozing. Um, uh, but like, I think Rebecca has the best because you're just a you're a professional people person essentially. Yeah. So I so, think you could use YouTube Science Communicator with a plus one for for teamwork from Dana. Oh, right. And then you've right. and then you've got the flash mob, uh, free invokes if you need to. Um, All right. 
Emilio oh, is is going to is going to get a, a defense roll. Oh boy! This, though, so. Oh boy! Okay. Well, that sure is something. <laughs> yeah, that's a dice roll. Yeah. Okay. Well, you get a plus one from teamwork, and then if you want to spend both of your flash mob points, that would get you oh, up to boy. a five. That's only three, though. What's the I difficulty wanna... you're going against? Well, he gets a defense roll. Okay. And so. he, remember, he has like beast defense rolls yeah, yeah don't spend anything until you see what his defense roll was okay he's at a five so, so spend... yeah if right right now you're at you're at uh you're at one because you didn't add in the plus one teamwork bonus oh, you yeah, spent yeah, yeah. both of the fa flash mobs that would get you up to five and then if you wanted to push even further with a fate point you could is this an overcome it's an overcome. So if you hit with a five, you could succeed with a minor cost. But I will tell you, we're about to we're about to wrap up the human phase anyway. So yeah, I feel it like that makes sense to succeed with a minor cost. But yeah, oh sorry. Yeah. Or, well, I was gonna say, or you could succeed at a major cost. But yeah, um, you could just take it now and succeed with a major if, cost. But if we're if we're getting ready to transition scenes, you could make it a minor cost to make it less interesting. <laughs> I'll make it less interesting. Or you can make it more interesting. I mean, we know what I want. <laughs> I know what you want. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do major costs. Cause like we, as long as we succeed and we get the others out, I feel like Rebecca has accepted her fate. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Um, so Emilio like stops for a moment, just kind of stares at the two of you. And then his smile comes back up even bigger. And he's like, you know what? I think it's a great idea. Let's get, let's get everybody in the building. Let's go out. Let's do a make a make a big group thing of it. I love it. I love this idea. Let's go. And uh, yeah, she he, starts he, sweating he gestures, because she's like, "Oh God, he he he's he, agreeing." He, he he gestures for the two of you to head out in front of him. The 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 group of people that have come in to like to meet you are like, "Wait, we're we're doing a TikTok out in." Okay, on the parking lot. Awesome. Let's tell everybody. And they start like leading you out uh, to the elevators, and you can just see him pulling his cell phone out of his pocket as you're drawn away. Mm -hmm. So oh, no. that happened. Um, but yeah, literally everyone that works in the building is like heading out. And you two can like hear the people filing out from from outside. And after a moment, like I'm not even gonna make you roll to get out of the server room with the with the data, because literally there's nobody left on the entire floor by the time you leave the room so yes um and with that yeah you um so effectively you got the information you'll be able to use that against the against the the company uh however you see fit but uh dana and rebecca are very effectively burned from by by the company like you're the targets now um and the way Good Neighbors is actually set up in future in future campaign play, the industry actually has a like tree of responses that it takes, like moves it makes against people. And if we were going into further play, you two would be the primary targets of all right. those moves going for forward for the foreseeable future. But as it is, I think we uh, will uh, transition to uh, to the the fairy phase next. Are we okay taking like a five minute break just to let everybody like? stretch their legs and whatnot yeah okay that yes, sounds please. great okay, let's do a five minute break and we'll come back and be fairies all right i need a drink increase the audio and we are back awesome um, take uh, it away paul Okay, so now we will go to the fairy phase of the game. Um, you should all be back up to three fate points on your character sheets. Because um, uh, humans and fairies have their own pools of fate points. You're not sharing it between the two of them for the whole session. Okay, so it literally is two characters? Yeah, it's just, it's just okay. troop-style play. I just, you okay. know, you're, you're on the same character sheet because... Otherwise, there would have been eight of them in Roll20 to juggle. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You made the right decision here. I'm and just, uh, uh, the okay. the game does come with actually like a, a, a flip book style character sheet for the human half on the top and the fairy half on the bottom. And you just turn the whole thing upside down. 
I really liked awesome. what, uh, what Fred did with the layout on that, but, uh, cool, cool, cool. yeah. So we are, uh, we are back with, uh, now you are all playing your fairy characters, so Tack and Silver oh, and Eneros and old. Sunset. And we begin in the court of the local fairies, uh, of Still Hollow. Um, it's in the woods somewhere outside of town, um, and uh, it's very uh, picturesque nature scene with like a vaulted tree canopy and like uh, uh, chairs and 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 tables and all sorts of furniture seem to be grown straight out of the the woods themselves. Um, and it's the, it's, you're all attending the court, uh, of the, uh, the summer queen, uh, uh, Alfania and, uh, it's, it, it's, it's not really like, it's, it's a day of minor obligation. Like you're all just sort of expected to show up and like, you know, greet the queen and then you're free to go about your business but for now all all uh, all four of you are here at at the court um what uh how how do each of you comport yourselves in the in in the court for this this you know minor obligation day like are you happy to be here are you here because grumble grumble i have to be well since sunset wants to be the queen I feel like uh, they probably don't want to be here, but they will make themselves known and also look fabulous doing it. <laughs> um, so however the court is set up, they are sitting in their chair, kind of arms very delicately folded, uh, uh, legs tucked at the ankle, uh, and uh, patiently and pleasantly listening to the court proceedings. Um. Tack is uh, very much just sitting um, kind of in the back, um, trying to make uh, themselves be as small as possible, um, does not want to attract any attention, um, and generally just kind of uh, tries to blend in as much as possible, because does not like being in court, but uh, is, you know, um, indebted to the court currently. Oneros is um, kind of flitting between different groups and like chatting, and some of them have various different reactions to uh, their presence. Some people are like over, like oh ha ha hi hello, and other people are like oh god, like the the ones he's most recently pranked or that they've most recently pranked, um, or you know <laughs> tricked or done anything about are not pleased. But um, there. You know, it, it is kind of a pain to have to go through these court proceedings, but it does offer opportunities to, um, you know, for to discover new riddles and puzzles and also to play tricks on people, which is like, you know, the thing. So they're going to make the best of it. All I'm saying is that there are plenty of um, little fairy trumpets playing as 12 white mice uh, pull <laughs> along a, um, a gorgeous pumpkin carriage. Um, coming out of the carriage, of course, is the, the most ornately dressed in black and silver um, fairy that you've seen. Um, it's just like, hey, hey, everybody. It's nice <laughs> to see you here. <laughs> oh, you're looking good. <laughs> That's nice. It's been a while since I've seen you on near us. Uh, no pranks on me. Thanks. No pranks. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Oh, tech. Oh, tech is. I know. I got my eye on you, tech. Yeah, that's a, that's a good. Um, hmm. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you all um, go through the, 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 the brief ritual that's required of, you know, greeting the queen and, and, um, it is also allowed uh, as you, you know, as you stand from the bow. If you have any business to present to the queen, you're free to free to do so. Um, I don't imagine anyone has anything particularly pressing right now, unless I'm wrong. Um, I, I do, you are wrong. 
What's what's your pressing business? The the, the pressing business is that the humans are doing uh, uh, the craziness that they are doing is not that crazy. They they follow all of the rules. It's been a long time since there's been a fantastical kind of like a twelve car pilot car crash or like anything's exploded. Mm-hmm. Actually, as you as you say that, like uh, you see you you see some other fairies around, like nodding, kind of agreeing with you that like think like maybe they think things are being a little boring. But you hear a voice from the far end of the of the court, um, this kind of um, uh, kind of flowing, uh, uh, a burbling voice from the back, and. Uh, uh, it, it's it, it. They say, uh, uh, "The hell you say!" Oh, and uh, everyone everyone turns to see to see who speaks, and there is a um, a uh, sinewy uh, shape that uh, in in mostly tones of uh, of, of of blue and brown um, uh, that you all recognize as. Uh, as nutmeg, the, uh, the 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 fairy spirit that lives in that like has claimed nutmeg creek as their as their domain, um, and uh, they do not look well. Like normally, they 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 kind of have like a like a flowing hair and like sort of mud brown kind of robes kind of look to them, and like that's still there. But there's also this like sickly like green streaks through it, and like um, parts of their like arm is kind of like there's just like a a it's like like if you took a cartoon character and you just cut a circle like a semicircle out of their arm and, and like. They, it's still like someone moves. hole punched the animation. Yeah, it still it still looks it still moves like it's whole, but like there's gaps in them. Oh my my dear nutmeg, I um, you're glowing and you're you're missing part of your arm. Oh my oh my dear, sit sit back down. Uh, what what has happened to you? I I don't know. The humans have done something look yeah. at me why indeed i am i i just don't know what i'm seeing um my yeah. word yeah she kind of she kind of uh grimaces and like and like doubles over a little bit and like she shakes as if she's like coughing or retching although she's not really making the sound and then like she kind of like cups her hands in front of her mouth and like as she pulls them away there's like sludge in her hands my my, my queen we, uh, we 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 should not hurry on this uh, certainly yeah alfania has like stood up and come over and 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 she looks at she looks at at nutmeg and then she looks looks at the crowd and says this is most disturbing, my people. What should be done about this? And like, there's a murmur of voices, and like, you hear a few, a few, a few people are like, "Well, we can't be too hasty." The, you know, it's Tax. Like, Tax gonna stand up, and uh, it's the humans. They're yeah. they're destroying our town or our domain. They're they're destroying it. We we need to do something about it. We need to get the humans out. The well, peace can no longer be held. I do not know about that, my uh, my dear fairy, but uh, I, I do say we need to deal with this because how can we make merry and hold elections in court when our people are dying? Yes, we should we should put it to a vote. Now, wait a minute, I want to put something out there that I don't think any of us have considered yet. And I think that that's the fact that our nearest is trying to trick us yet again. I'm willing to bet that this is a plant, that nutmeg has been planted by our nearest to try and trick us into thinking that something bad's going on. Now, it sounds interesting and perhaps flashy and fun, but it, I don't know. I remain unconvinced. 
Oh my goodness. It's I'm saying I I I, I can't even feel like myself in these conditions. I, I, I certainly don't want to play pr pranks on people. I, I want her to stop vomiting um, goo. I, I just... Hmm. Silver, your language and decorum for this court are most uncouth. I would remind you of the pleasantries that must be taken when speaking to others of your kind. And how dare you accuse Nutmeg of being a plant? Oneros may be a trickster, but we all care for our own. That's true, some, but this might be some, a gift returned back from Nutmeg to Oneros. Somebody in the crowd just sort of chuckles and goes, Oneros is a river spirit, not a plant. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Oneros, a nutmeg. <laughs> yeah, nutmeg yeah, is yeah. a river spirit. Well, true. I, I do I do owe her a return gift, but this is not to do with that. I the uh, uh, the queen Alfania. She she kind of straightens herself up and she says, "I I refuse to believe that the humans in total have done anything of of the sort. The people of Still Hollow are good and true to the old promises made." But it is true, we must remedy whatever has happened to poor Nutmeg here. And she like puts, puts, a, puts a hand on Nutmeg's shoulder. Um, and uh, and, she, and the, uh, the queen says, I will say this, whoever gets to the, whoever gets to the bottom of this and restores poor nutmeg to health will have done this court a great gift yes randy i want to suggest a compel for oh. for uh amelia for oh, oniris um i kind of started to set it up uh -huh. um but i'm making it explicit that like basically oniris um the compel that I'm setting up, I'm not actually spending one of my fate points for it, um, is that, that the blame is going to fall on them because they are a trickster. Um, and oh, yeah, really, yeah, I totally like, got that. Yeah, the yeah the water spirit came, like river spirit came straight to them. So like, this feels like it could just be like them like pulling some shit. Um, and so basically what's going to end up, what could end up happening is like part of the motivation is not only like the queen's reward, but trying to prove that Oniris Vindication, yeah. Yeah, is like not part of this because I want to prove that it is. So that gives me motivation, you know, to look into this. It's like, mm -hmm. well, of course I'm going to come with you to make sure that you don't like falsify information. And I don't know what everybody else's motivation might be, but it's just a suggestion. Take it or leave it. Does that sound like a cool compel to you? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's why I was going with it because I that's the the more Randy was leading into it, the more I don't hear it's just like, no, I'm serious, I'm not yeah. joking this time. <laughs> so go ahead and go ahead and uh, and add a add a fate point in and and uh from from the crowd you hear more voices saying uh, uh probably is one of Oneros' pranks. How could how how can we how can we believe that the humans would do anything of the sort? We've always lived in peace with them. This is a this is this is Oneros. And uh Al, Al, Alfania kind of looks uh like she stands taller than than pretty much everyone else in, in the court. She looks looks down at Oneros and says Well the court clearly does not trust you. What say you to this? Clearly, well, I would present evidence, uh, but clearly you would not believe me as I had been walking around the town when I saw it. So uh, I propose that these three come with me while I uh, reinvestigate um, to clear my, my good name. My accuser, obviously. Um, and then, uh, Sunset and, oh my gosh, Tack, uh, who are, who are both known to be upstanding citizens. Um, 
and he, they bow. The, the 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 queen the queen looks looks over over the four of you and says, "Well, then it is settled. You shall be our commission to restore Nutmeg here and to learn the truth of it." You have until the next moon to solve this matter. And we'll, we'll say that's at least a week or two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and should you prove your innocence and restore Nutmeg to health, you will have done a boon to this court and it will be recognized. Uh, Sunset thank will you, stand up and bow very deeply and say, thank you, my queen. I will graciously accept this opportunity to help the court and a fellow fairy. I would like to attempt to create an advantage using uh -huh. um, clever gentry. And uh -huh. as I bow saying, you know, it's is my great honor to serve as commissioner of this commission. <laughs> uh, to create the advantage of commissioner putting me in charge of um, no <laughs> I love it I mean oh unless 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 somebody wants to fight you that's not going to be uh, an opposed because the thing is is well, that you could you could compel me one. if yeah. I tried to fight that you you could compel me on I carefully avoid duty because I probably want to do the bare minimum with this to clear my name and the reason why too is um is uh Onerous turns to um, Nutmeg and goes, if I do this for you, this will be my gift to you, healing you. And like pats him on the shoulder. Nut, nut, Nutmeg kind of like looks at you like, they, they still look queasy, but they also kind of like, their, yeah. eyes, wide, their eyes widen a little bit. It's like, they, they know what you're saying. Yeah, uh, that's the real reason they're in this. It's kind of like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am going to fight Silver on being okay. the commissioner of this commission. So you're gonna okay. So then so now you, I do have right, to roll. Right, right, yeah. Right. All right. You'll you'll roll, Randy. You'll roll, and and Mallory, you'll defend against it. So how are you pushing back against me uh, declaring myself commissioner? Um, Mallory is not good at double speak. Sorry, but. Uh, I'm going to say that Sunset is because uh, they are a sneaky gentry and know exactly what to say to try to get their way. So, <laughs> all right, I can, I, I can imagine you're like you're actually like um, uh, talking Silver up in such a way as to make everyone else realize that they're actually a terrible choice. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that sounds great. All right, let's roll. Oh no. <gasps> yes. I'm spending fate points. I don't know what you're okay. talking about. Oh. Um, <laughs> so PvP. Uh, PvP. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Who needs NPCs or bad guys when we have each other? Exactly. Um, uh, let's see. So I actually have an invoke stunt. So I'm going to oh no, wait a minute. That's when I invoke an aspect. Yes. So my clever gentry, I'm going to, so that I understand this correctly, Paul, if I spend my fate point on clever gentry, which is my invoke stunt one, you, do I you, also get the benefits of the it's, invoke stunt? It's always optional. So you could just get a plus two. So I if get you, either the benefit of the stunt or the, the like, what yeah, the, the stunt okay. is always optional. So like, if you don't want to reroll, you don't have to use the stunt. Okay. Uh, and shoot to re-roll your dice oh you get plus two years up must take yeah. okay sorry ba I basically anything, basically but... if you have the invoke um, stunt it just supercharges a re-roll uh, yeah i'm not going to do that uh i will spend a fate point though on um <laughs> i'm going to spend a fate point on tied up in the game mm -hmm. um i am going to basically like everything that um uh everything that sunset says that tries to make me look bad i'm just going to like turn it around and just be like well absolutely you know like uh, you don't want a commissioner that's too good or a commissioner that like you know uh you couldn't trust like i mean you know 
Hitler crossed all of his T's and dots all of all of his eyes, and he was horrible. But then you've got <laughs> someone like Eisenhower who cross dressed and was fine. Um, so I'm going to spend my fate point on tied up in the game. So that'll bring uh, you up to, to a seven. Yes. I am going to spend a fate point on I'm the cleverest in the room. I have some dirt on silver that I'm going to let slip just a little bit of it while I'm uh, talking about them, but in such a way where it's just kind of like, oh, um, well, we were at this party together and blah, 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 and something, something, something. Like, talking them up, but also, like, you know, I'm just like, you know. So that brings you up to doing an that. Yes. Yes, but I'm a careful politico, so I let you <laughs> think that you have all of this dirt on me when the reality is is that I have neutralized that dirt already. And so what you think is a big reveal is something that everybody's really already heard through the grapevine, um, but a softened version of it. Mm-hmm. So yes, yeah. I did spend a second fate that point. brings you up to a nine. I'm going to spend a fate point on flashy <laughs> benefactor. Uh, somebody comes up to my defense who is also at the court and says that I should be the commissioner. Ten. Well, I mean, I know, I know definitely that, um, that Oneros would be pulling more for uh, for them than for uh, Randy's character because, like, yeah. <laughs> okay, Randy, do you want to push it any further? Uh, well, the first thing that I want to ask is I want to ask um, I want to ask Tack if like like what loyalty does Tack have to um, uh, to Sunset? I don't think very much. I think it might be might behoove you uh, to give me a teamwork bonus to help out here. Uh, I mean, you I mean, pick a side. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tack is. It yes, just and my kind good of friend like, Tack will <laughs> will vouch for my character. I uh, um, Tack just kind of looks down at the ground. Um, uh, and and, and uh, shuffles his feet or shuffles their feet a little bit. Um, silver, and just like very timid about it. <laughs> so teamwork bonus will actually push us to a tie. Yes, yes, and I will. And because it's overcome, I will succeed at a minor cost. Unless well, this, this is this is no, point. this was create an advantage. You said. Because you're trying to create uh, the aspect oh, yeah, that you're the right. commissioner. Oh, shit. That would leave me with a boost. Uh, the most expensive boost ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> so a very expensive boost. Yeah. Um, unless but, unless yeah. one of the other two PCs wants to throw in their fate points on one of your behalfs. No, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm... <sighs> fudge. I'm... <laughs> I'm done too. Uh, I I want to spend all of my fake points on this to make this work, but uh, I think we've gotten a good scene out of it. Now, yeah, this, but... Paul, this leaves you with the chance of like, okay, I get a boost, or you can create a, an aspect that that you know reflects backfiring. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I feel like you. you know, I I really did advocate for myself a lot. I might have, uh, you know annoyed some people by speaking for too long because I have stepped on too many toes. Yeah. Um, are you are you asking for a compel on that? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, so here's what's going to happen. You can take your fate point. Here's what's going to happen. Um, Al- Alfania has been watching the two of you lobby for commissioner a, a post which a post which she did not actually create. <laughs> I just want um, Silver to have it. And finally, like, and the crowd has like kind of gotten whipped up. Like people are kind of like murmuring to each other, and like, every <laughs> once in a while, somebody will shout, you know, uh, one of your names. Alfania finally comes over to 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 Silver and just sort of to sort of. Uh, bends down so that she's kind of you know at your level and she just puts a hand out on your shoulder and just says very well silver is the commissioner the success or failure of this commission will lay with him 
so let it be. And she stands up and steps back from you. And so if if if, if y'all fail, it's on Silver's head. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So is that uh, that sounds like it's an aspect out there. I mean, you have it, you have the commissioner aspect. Oh well, I mean, the thing is, is is it the commissioner aspect? But no, I, I think, have a I, I have the, a free invoke on it against. You. I think it's. <laughs> this was I, supposed I, to be I, against me, so I feel like this is bad against Silver. So. Well, no. Well, that's, there's that's some, there's something to... there's something oh. else for your compel. Okay. Mm. All right. So then, go ahead and add commissioner. Add the free invoke for you, um, and go. Oh boy. So not only do I have to like, you know, just prove that um, uh, Oneros did it, I have to actually solve it. Mm-hmm. And Oneros just smiles. <laughs> <laughs> this is all worked out perfectly. Ah, you've you've, as they say, uh, played yourself, Silver. Oh. Uh, uh, that's true. You can call me Mr. You can call me, um, Sorry, commissioner. Mr. Commissioner. Yes. Just call me Commissioner, not Mr. Mick, 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 Mix Commissioner, yes. Um, hmm. So, so Mix Commissioner. Um, that's the, like, MX, like the yeah. gender neutral. Yes. Yeah, okay. so, yeah, so, so Mix Commissioner, uh, where, where in your infinite wisdom do you believe that we should start? I believe that we should start by naming the commission. The commission has already been named uh, mixed commission. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you misunderstand me. I'm talking about like the formal name for the commission so that it goes down in history as, as those who, who solved and proved oh, that are numerous. You definitely doubt on this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and basically, like, I'm just going to, like, sandbag for a little bit about, like, you know, just, you know. I, I mean, oh. I, I love the game, you know? And so, like, I want to make sure the commission's got a good name and that, like, you know, well, like, while Silver is going on about the commission's name, uh, Oneros is is growing bored and um, slips something down the back of Silver's shirt, <laughs> <laughs> like like something I don't know, like seeds or water or something, something harmless, but just like they're just like I need to do something. <laughs> okay, are, are you trying? Are you trying to be sneaky about it, or are you just doing it? Uh, I mean, they're a curious sneak, so I'm going to say they're going to be sneaky about it while they're trying to get people to name the commission or mm -hmm. come up with a name. Uh, should I? Or is that, would that be forceful trickster sage or curious sneak? I, I mean, guess? I don't really, I don't really, unless there's something you're trying to accomplish by this, I don't know if we need to roll for it. it no, I don't think I need to roll for it. Yeah, because yeah. I'm fine with just Oh, you're happened. fine with that. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I'm cool but with yeah. 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 So that's what they do. They like slip like ice. I mean, if you you know were to turn around, oh. they're like back where they were. Oh, that's pretty cold. So me, me meanwhile, um, was that a gift? Uh, Mallory, uh, sunset. Wow, while wow, while wow. while, what's that, Randy? Grayson pointed out that it's a gift, and it is not a gift because while Oniris gave it to me, it was not a gift. She it was didn't not actually presented. give it to me. She did not present it as a gift, so it is not a gift, especially because I don't know who to thank for that. Very cold piece of ice. <laughs> uh, uh, Sunset finds themselves, uh, like while 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 Silver and, and Oniris were going back and forth uh, about naming the naming the commission uh, and dumping ice down each other's uh, uh, shirts, uh, Sunset finds themselves somehow off to the side, face to face with Queen Alfania. Oh. And she just- My she, queen. She has a very precisely composed look on her face. And, uh, and she says, I applaud you on your efforts. I thank you, my queen. Silver may be commissioner. 
but I will also be watching your performance in this affair very closely. Oh, of course. I only aim to please my queen. And remember that the throne is chosen by fate, not by politics. Well, if... then I can only hope that fate will be in my favor. Let it be as it will. Good luck. Thank you, my queen. And and she uh, she just sort of turns and sort of swishes away from you back toward Nutmeg, <laughs> and like puts an arm around Nutmeg and just sort of starts leading her out of out of the court as the crowd is just sort of murmuring and, and slowly dispersing themselves, leaving the four of you standing around, having to come up with a way to solve all this. Well, we're no closer than we were two hours ago. Um, Let's go to the creek. We know Nutmeg was affected. I know Nutmeg was affected. I saw. Shall we? Yes, lead us to reset the trap. Oh my god. Let's just. Smash cut. I know. <laughs> I can just imagine in the fairy uh, version, instead of it just being like a typical smash cut, it's like literally like a cartoon hammer that yeah. just comes down. <laughs> Uh, so, um, you are on the, uh, on the, uh, banks of Nutmeg Creek, uh, which is a, um, it, it's a, it, you know, it's a, a modest waterway that sort of winds down out of the hills and sort of through, not right through the center of Still Hollow, but it goes, uh, through Still Hollow, they built the city park along it um which is usually the area where nutmeg resides um because she likes being near humans although she doesn't take kindly to to kids like climbing on the rocks and slipping down into the water uh but that's mostly where she resides is down by the park um the sun has just gone down so you know, under cover of darkness, you slip through the human town to the to the creek. And as you as you examine it um, in the in the moonlight, uh, the uh, the rocks are uh, mostly dry, but down just along the line of the water, you see this like sort of sickly green glow see I, I told you uh it wasn't this bad when i came here last um and that wasn't even that long ago i would like to declare a story detail uh -huh. with flashy benefactor uh -huh. um which has the declare stunt uh -huh. um because i am a flashy benefactor between humans and fairy alike, um, I would like to say that uh, one of my human somethings, I don't really know, um, who is like a park ranger is here to serve as a guide kind of thing uh, to help us look for what we need to find. Okay, what is this, uh, what is this person's name? Hold on. Dinesh. This is his first name came to mind. Is my microphone on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, okay. it's, it, right. it's a good okay. idea. All right. Okay. I, I was fiddling no, with the right. button. I was fiddling with the button on it, so I wasn't sure if maybe I was quiet. Yeah. Uh, Dinesh Fowler. So um, yeah, this is uh, there. Uh, 
they they work they work for the for the parks department um which you know they're one of three people in the the parks department of this, this small town um but uh they uh they tend to uh so they tend to the um like they're the person who runs the like who sets up the sprinkler systems and stuff to like run overnight so like uh uh is this a is this a uh what what is Din what are dinesh's pronouns uh, i'm gonna go with he him but oh, he, i'm imagining that he's like way overqualified for this job but he just likes working outside so much yeah. that you know so it's like he's, the only thing He's just finished like putting like all of his like groundskeeping equipment away and stuff for the night, and uh, you're able to signal to him however you normally do, mm -hmm. uh, and he arrives uh, he arrives on the edge of the uh, uh, the creek and and looks down at the the four of you sort of down examining the water, uh, and like there's this kind of like faint uh, sparkle in his eyes that you know you've you've given him some sort of, you know, magical uh, boon mm -hmm. that al allows him to sort of be aware of you all and yeah. interact uh, with you all the way that humans normally don't. I see uh, Dinesh approaching, and I'll stand up and my ar like fl um, throw my arms open wide and start walking towards him in, like, a very elegant, like, uh, uh, kind of swaying manner i guess say dinesh it is so lovely to see you my lovely human and we'll give him a little pat on the head oh what can i do for you this evening oh you see we are uh here on a very important um very vital task uh for protecting you and my kind alike uh you see we have uh come to be aware that uh this lovely little creek here uh seems to have something going on with it and we're not quite sure what really is happening um silver over there seems to be blaming the humans um i think that is absolutely ridiculous and so do most of my kind uh, but i know that there's uh this nasty little um company that's moved in recently maybe it was something there related but oh um, yes it's been it's been in the papers and on the news there's some sort of contamination in the water oh that is most horrible. That would explain Nutmeg's condition, would would it not? I look back towards everybody, especially at Silver. <laughs> it's true. If Arneris put something in the water, it would affect everyone. I, I told you the humans did it. So we need your help trying to get rid of this little contamination that's in this lovely little river that you have. You have the power to clean up the water. That's amazing. I heard that it would be it would it would be far too expensive and difficult to to clean up. Oh, I didn't say anything about us having the powers to just magic away the water, but we need to find this the problem that's happening and then get rid of it. Oh, oh, of course. Um well, it 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 must be coming from upstream. Uh we could go for a hike, I suppose. Oh, that sounds absolutely lovely. If you would please guide us. Um, uh, sh sure. Just let me let me call home and tell my husband I'll be out late. Oh yes, please do that. And I forgot kind of... you you uh, lovely little humans have uh, have to sleep. It's very cute. He he wa he wanders off a little bit, pulls out his cell phone, makes a call. <laughs> I I. I may be sleeping on the couch, but... Oh, that sounds wonderfully comfortable. I hope you have a restful night when you get home. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> well, let's be on our way, I suppose. And he starts, he just starts hiking up upstream. Yep. Yeah, you, you've, you've ensorcelled this person. Like, he does what he's told, but... He's still just a just a dude. 
Oh, bless him. Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, I'm a fae. Yeah. You, 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 you benefit some humans. They're just like, oh, you're so cute. Yeah. So he this, just starts, this little thing can help me. Yeah, he just he just starts leading you upstream, and you know you, you quickly head out of town because it's it's you know like I said it doesn't go through the heart of town, um, but it just goes it 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 winds up into the to the woods, uh, sort of north and uh, east of the town, um, and uh, you you walk for, you know, a long while, uh, you know through through the night. Uh, he's got a flashlight, um, and uh, every once in a while, after uh, after a bit, um, you start seeing uh, you start seeing lights in the woods off to either side of the stream, hmm. um, like like elect like street light kind of electric lights, um, and uh, he 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 notices them. He's like, yeah, those are the wells that they're they've been drilling. Um, you know, oh, they... to give you your water that you need to live. <laughs> no, they're uh, they're pulling uh, gas up from deep underground that we use to make electricity. Oh, that Whoa. sounds. Is that that smell? Smell from here. Yeah. Oh yes, um... that is quite foul. Hmm. And well, the, I hope it, I hope it, when it powers your homes, it doesn't cause everywhere to stink. It can, I suppose. Oh, that is most unfortunate. You poor thing. The four of you, as you're ha as you're talking and, and walking, and he's telling you about these things. Um, the four of you feel this kind of like faint rumbling in the earth, like like like. Something is is restless, and mm. uh, Dinesh does not seem to notice at all. Mm. But you you keep walking, and uh, you still see uh, you still see traces of that sort of greenish, you know, contamination in the in the creek as you're following it. So you you're it's still clearly coming from upstream somewhere. Hmm. And uh, uh, every every once in a while, Dinesh has to like shoo away like some curious wildlife or uh, you know that's in your path. Um, and uh, after about three hours of walking up upstream. Um, you start to hear the sounds of, uh, like, um, machinery from ahead and off to the, the one side. Um, and Dinesh clearly also hears it as well. Um, and he says, somebody must be working on another wellhead up there, uh, they're putting them all around the valley. Hmm. I can seems hear like, a sense Seems of, like an awful lot of them. I can hear a bit of concern in your voice. Is that accurate? I, I'm not fond of the industry moving into town, you know? It's not mm. good for... Well, I mean, he points at the creek. It's clearly not good for the water or for people's health, but there's money in it, so of course it gets done. Oh, well, hopefully with our little intervention, uh, maybe we'll be able to clear up some of this mess for you. And just then, you all hear uh, shouts from up ahead where the, the machinery noises are coming from, and like a clattering of metal. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. And Dinesh like Dude. looks very concerned and is like sort of staring off in that direction. Yeah, I'll just look down to him and say, "Is that normal?" Uh, it sounds like someone might be in trouble. Hmm. We should go. We should go help them. Yes, I suppose we should go find out what is happening. Randy, 
I want to compel for me. <laughs> okay, what's your... Uh, I want my compel to be on uh, the aspect Silver's in charge. Um, <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and I want to... Um, I want to be literally struck by the the realization that this is not Oniris is doing. <laughs> so I'm presuming that, like, I, I mean, I don't know how you want to shape that as a uh, as a compel, but I'm happy to take a very moderate consequence um, as part of that compel to realize, sure. like, that I've been struck with the the knowledge that this is not Oniris is doing. Yeah, like, absolutely. Oh, and I a startling revelation that I am way over my head now yep. um, because it is not her doing. And so I am effed in the A. Yep. I don't say <laughs> any of that out loud. Yep. Um, but and, and uh, we'll say we'll say that you are the last one to like head up in that direction when others suggest it. Mm -hmm. This is not Oniris's fault as a moderate consequence. Um, um, at some point, uh, Sunset will notice and look back and say, Commissioner, we, we uh, do yes. need your presence as we uh, that, are investigating uh, this sound. Yes, absolutely. We need to prove that our nearest did this. So, <laughs> so let, us con let us continue. We need to prove oh. that this is... This is if, yeah, if, did... Oh, my word. Yes, you, uh, see, you, is, you need to. Down, I, I yeah. need to find it. Dinesh had, like, Listen, brought, like, I need uh, to tell you this, okay? Listen, if it is not Oniris' fault, then that means that there is something genuinely wrong. And if something is genuinely wrong, then the, the, the commission that we're on, the, the, the Steel Hollow Clearwater Creek Revival Commission, is, is meets it's my responsibility, and then suddenly I have to take care of things. So it's Oniris' fault. Let's go find out how. <laughs> <laughs> so Dinesh had like brought like a backpack Hi. with like you know like bottled water and, and stuff and also a, like a first aid kit and like he like fishes the first aid kit out of his backpack and just starts hustling up toward whatever's going on up there just mm -hmm, in case somebody mm -hmm. needs medical attention mm -hmm. you know um, the rest mm -hmm. of you follow up that way yep yep okay um so uh, you uh, you can see uh, as you kind of go up up uh, a bit of a uh, a little bit of a hill that um, there are a number of uh, like um, like big trucks and digging equipment and like uh, like uh, portable work lights with connected to a generator like illuminating this 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 scene of the humans have been digging in the ground um and uh apparently they had been they had been pulling some kind of metal containers out of the ground and like stacking them up to one side and the stack must have toppled because they're like all now sort of spilled down back into the pit that they've been digging and you can see like a couple of humans like one has a leg pinned under one of these containers and like a couple more are like down in there trying like they have like a pry bar and trying to like lift it off of the person and Dinesh Dinesh kind of looks back at you and then like holds up the the first aid kit and like like he clearly wants to go help people well, but like he's asking permission. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll um, I'll Bless probably him. stand stand there awkwardly for a few seconds, like for probably like 30 seconds, not realizing what's happening. I'll say, oh, yes, go go help your people. Um, and the four of you, the four of you can just sort of feel this like fetid energy coming up like spilling up out of this pit mm -hmm. like it's nothing really like visible so much it's just this like wave of 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 grossness that washes over you tuck you're quite a uh, hardy folk why don't you go investigate and see what uh, that strange energy is yes yes um i will i will go down there and 
help them? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So I will point uh, out, like, fa fairies are not like naturally invisible or anything. Like, if you go and just like walk amongst humans, they will see you. Mm -hmm. Like, you're mm -hmm. good at like tack isn't, but uh, m most like, many fairies are good at hiding. Um, tack is not at all. Uh, oh no! <laughs> because then again, I, you, I will... you don't you don't have sneaky. <laughs> like you can be you can you can like just try and be like quick and like zip in between them and like get out the other side but you can't like go down in there stop examine things without being noticed oh i'm yeah. sneaky though yeah. i forgot um i was thinking that uh yeah. for some reason tech had it but i was remembering uh, yeah, reading no. tech's uh information mm. so i will take it actually tech I, I will put a hand on your shoulder and say actually tech i think i'm best suited for this task and i will uh be a sneaky gentry and sneaky sneak my sneaky sneak to the sneak location you are approved uh, to do that sunset <laughs> and, yep. and and while uh sunset is doing that tech is gonna actually like carefully look over all the machinery um mm -hmm. while everyone is distracted with everything that's been um gone or sure, gone. yeah go go ahead and give me a give me a, a roll for that as well uh yeah um uh, sunset is 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 easily able to sneak down in and like you're hiding like behind some equipment and stuff and uh you get a closer look at what's going on uh tack you're looking over all the equipment from a safe uh distance and uh yeah it's this is like this is a lot of like heavy like earth moving equipment and like big trucks to like carry heavy things away. Um, clearly whatever they're digging up here, like there's a lot of it uh, that they need to move. Um, they're, they're digging up our roots. Um, can I, <laughs> uh, knowing that, um, can I actually like disable some of the equipment? Um, possibly. Uh, but first, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Sunset has has snuck up, and uh, yeah, uh, Dinesh like Dinesh just ran up with with like a first aid kit and was like, uh, you know, some of the workers are like, who who are you? What are you doing out here? And he's like, doesn't matter. Let me help him, <laughs> you know. Uh, and like it's like going down to like help get the 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 man whose leg has been pinned like get him out and like help start tending the wound and stuff. Um, and, uh, but like some of the other, some of the other workers are like, no, you can't, you can't be here. It's not safe. Get, get back. Um, and, uh, what are, what are, uh, what are, uh, uh Silver and Oneros, what are you doing? I know what I'm doing if you need time, Amelia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I find, I mean, humans are so fascinating. Um, so I want to kind of like get a good vantage point to kind of like see what's going on. And hey, it turns out that there is one of their, um, one of their phones right there. That's like, it, that like in like everything that happened, like it fell out of a pocket and it swiped over to video. And I'm like, no, like they need a better angle on this. So I'm going to like reset the angle on the, the camera um and like hit the big red button that says whatever it is that the humans have it say um so that like i can like record like the humans do all the fun stuff that they do um so basically that's my intention is to like get uh as a character my intention is to mimic human conventions for like you know watching what other humans do because they they do this on like instagram and tiktok all the time i see humans staring down at their phones but um like i know from a player perspective like i'm starting a live stream of everything that's going on <laughs> there right now so i don't know what that means in this situation like uh, you, i don't know if just, there's something you, a role i could no, just do it like do it. i i don't know like you know, I, you know what? Maybe it's a create advantage. Sure. That could and add me. another like another story to detail. So yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I will try to create the advantage like live streamed disaster. Um, 
And uh, I'm uh, going to use the approach of the industry has no flash. Um, so I'm trying to like get a good, like a good TikTok for them. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. It's let's always get... coming back to TikTok in this game. Oh my God, I know. Right? Um, okay. All right, um, so that's a two. I don't know where we sit on that. I mean, in, unless I say otherwise, it's usually a two. Okay. Uh, so that would be, um, and you're trying to create an advantage. So like you, that would be worth a boost to you if you. That would be worth a boost, but you know what? I have fate points, and I <laughs> if you want to, at... you can use also Dinesh. Mm -hmm. Dinesh. Yeah, there Ooh. are two free invokes on him, so. That's a good question. Uh, I tell you what. Why don't we go ahead and I'll use one of the ones from Dinesh, um, assuming that Dinesh kind of like sees what I'm doing and like, you know angles the phone a little bit or like hits the appropriate button because yeah I, it's like no you need to go you know. live yeah you have to oh, hit the go you. live button <laughs> thank you that's i thought that was, uh, hmm. okay thank you very much uh, you're very yeah. useful i can see why they keep you around <laughs> okay so yeah we'll uh we'll create a live stream yes. disaster yes uh, oh my goodness copies and um just to add a little bit more flavor to it um uh, silver is also going to like, oh no, we're fairies, so we really don't want to be on film. So never mind. <laughs> well, I have something. Right. I have something for that, both because of what you're doing and in general. So, okay. Aneros looks over at Silver filming and is like, oh god, like they were already gonna do this, but like it's even more required now. So they want to try and cause some type of situation to where the humans will clear out or start clearing out. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say maybe they cast like, they cast like some type of magic, like to like, uh, like fake fireworks or yeah. something like that to where they're like, Oh God, something's exploding or, yeah. you know, we need to get out of here. So do I need to roll for that? Yes. Okay. How would you, uh, you are, um, I mean, that sounds forceful to me. Mm -hmm. You're just like, fireworks, get out of here. Lightning. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's do that. Lightning, very, very frightening. Me. Superb. That's success with style. Yeah. Heck yeah. You, like, you do that, and, uh, uh, you hear you hear like this just cry of alarm go up from all around this this pit as people are going fire shit's on fire get out <laughs> and like everyone who's not currently pinned under a, a barrel is running in every direction yes all according the, to plan and like dinesh is dinesh is like looking at everyone fleeing around him and like oh. he suddenly realizes Oh God, where are we? And like he's struggling harder to get this guy out from under yeah. this barrel. And um, Oneros will will join um him in trying to get that guy out. And he, he says it, it's fake. It's not real fire. Okay, some of it might be real fire, but most of it is fake. <laughs> yes, oh. but what are they afraid of? They're not afraid of the fire. They're afraid of what's on fire. Mm-hmm. Indeed. So the two of you managed to get this guy out from under uh, the barrel, and you can just see his leg is just mangled. Like, Ugh. this was a 50-gallon drum of something dense. Oh, jeez. Like, he, he has the other, like, the other leg is fine. You can help him out of the pit to, like, together if you want to. Um, yeah, let's do that. And, um... Well, he he doesn't have any blood loss, but uh, he does need to go to the hospital. It's ugh, that bone. Ugh, the way your your human's bones go go backwards when you fall and get crushed by things. Ugh. ugh. So yeah, um, Tack, you've you've been examining all the equipment, um, and uh, you, uh, you 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 think you think you know basically how how these things work. You're a you're a you know. As a as a uh, worker kind of uh, fairy, you you have an affinity for like the tools that humans use to do their work. Um, so like you're free to like do what you want with these with these tools. 
Uh, so Tech is going to um, just go to each of the little, each of the heavy machines, um, anything that's like uh, designed to move Earth very specifically, anything designed to move Earth. So, um, and he's going to just like start pulling out wires and cabling, mm -hmm. um, specifically like electrical wires and not any of the hydraulics because he doesn't want it to leak. Right. Um, or they don't want it to leak. Mm. Um, to just basically disable all of the machines so that yeah, they can't you, move anymore. Yeah, you you can very quickly go through and just disable all of the trucks and backhoes and whatnot. Not no role required for that because there's nobody here to stop you. They're all um, gone. Okay. Um, Sunset, what are you doing? Unmute myself. Uh, that is an excellent question. Uh, can I have a reminder of what's going on right now yeah, that I can okay. help out with? So Dinesh and Oniros are helping a uh, injured uh, workman up out of the pit. Mm -hmm. uh, Tack is currently disabling all of the machinery, mm -hmm. and Silver is live streaming it all to Instagram and, mm -hmm. or TikTok, whichever you prefer. Mm -hmm. I did sneak down to where oh, the weird all, energy was. Yeah, all of the rest of the humans have fled mm -hmm. um, after a fireworks display from uh, Oniros. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dinesh seems very concerned by that. Mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. yes, you've you've sort of you've sort of come to the like the edge of the pit, and you can see that like yeah, you can just feel waves of of just awfulness from from. Specifically from these like metal containers, these barrels. Uh, that mm, have some mm -hmm. some of them have tumbled back into the into the hole. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, mm. They look they look old and like there's like rust on them in places. Um, and... Is it the same like vibe I was getting from the um, the creek then? Yeah, now that you're closer to it, it, it does feel like that sort of contamination. You mm -hmm. can't see you can't see any of the green stuff yet. Mm -hmm. um, but it, you're close enough to like a large concentration of whatever this is that you can still even feel it from from Ugh. here. Okay, all right. I think I have an idea. Um, being that I am the cleverest in the room. Uh, I would like to uh, find a vessel and take a sample of this green weirdness with the bad energy. Uh, I'm getting some bad vibes off of off of this. So do you want to do you want to like try and actually like tap into one of these barrels? Because uh, uh none, yeah, that, none, you said none of them are leaking. None of them are currently. Look, yeah, but they do look like rusty. Oh yeah. You know, so I'm thinking like. Mm -hmm. If I find the right tools and the right kind of container, I can find uh, yeah. something to hold this like that a, will like at an, least, yeah. It's like an empty gas can over by the generator, and yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. You can easily collect a sample if you want to break one of these things open. Yeah, but I'm trying to do it in like a clever way because that's what I'm working with. So, yeah. um, a crowbar is clever. In a, in a way that like isn't going to necessarily hurt me. I mean, it is because it's well, that <laughs> radiation. Would be, yeah, but that would, that would of... be more careful. Yeah. Mm. Which you are not necessarily careful. No. Mm. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Um, clever would be like if you needed to like rig up some kind. Like you could rig up a way to do it from a distance. It might take time. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I think we have, as far as I'm concerned, we have time. Um, so you start, you start making this like Rube Goldberg device mm -hmm. that will like, you know, like swing a, a hammer down from a tree branch and like knock mm -hmm. the hole inside of it while you where you place the gas can and stuff. Do I have to roll anything for this? Um, not not really. Okay. You you you're you're clever, and it, like I said, it will just take time. Mm-hmm. Um, while Sunset is doing that, what is everyone else doing? Hmm. Uh, I will say, uh, Silver, looking through the, the camera uh, on the phone, yeah. uh, 
you do not actually see anyone except Dinesh and the injured man. Uh, yeah. All you see are like colored orbs of the other uh, fairies moving around. Okay. Because hmm. fairies don't show up on cameras, I'm declaring. Okay, that's <laughs> like, fair. Not in their natural state. They show up mm -hmm. as weird emanations. Yeah. Willow, of Willow the Wisps kind yeah. of thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, uh, I do have, I, I mean, it's kind of echoing my earlier character as well, but I had this idea that because of I know it's good for you, um, Oneros will get this idea to um, project a like a scary like image and be like, "This is what happens when you disrespect the earth," you know, <laughs> before, <laughs> before her Silver stops recording. Um, do you want do you want to do that? Yeah, I do. I do Go actually. Yeah. 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 So that's what for, yeah, for, for, for a moment, you see, you, what is what does this image look like? Oh, it's like a person, but then it turns into like a demon, and it starts, and then it starts melting. Yeah. Um. He, they really just go all in. They're yeah. like, you know what? <laughs> this is what works on the humans. <laughs> yeah. yeah, intentional illusions will will show up on the on the camera. So like, people watching this TikTok are gonna think the effects budget is through the roof. <laughs> Which, you know, they realize that the, it, it'll probably just freak some people out or some people will laugh at it or whatever, but they're yeah. like, they can see it being a fun bit. So they enjoyed it. Yeah. So Tack, you've, you've finished uh, disabling all of the, all of the equipment. Um, you see uh, Sunset is finishing up some kind of uh, mechanism to collect a sample from this this barrel down in the pit. Um, all of you, all of you are just kind of vaguely nauseated being, being next to all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Like it just, it feels wretched to you. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, sunset, you managed to get your sample. The barrel is now oozing uh, into the dirt. Oh no. Um, not not a lot because you sort of did it like up on the top of the of the the barrel, so like only a little bit manages to to sort of leak out after you collect your sample, but it is leaking, and if mm -hmm. it if it shifts, it may leak more. Mm. I know what I'd like to do. What would you like to do? All right, so I'm I'm live streaming this. Uh, and I want to declare a story detail with careful Politico, uh -huh. um, which ties into my like declare stunt. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to spend a fate point to declare a story detail. Um, and that story detail is going to be that like when an emergency of this scale happens, um, they send in like um, C-suite exec, a C-suite executive or a vice president to come and like, like oversee like whatever the disaster is to make sure mm -hmm. that like, you know, they've got a good control mm -hmm. over the situation. Um, and uh, basically I'm creating the um, using the declare stunt. Uh, I can yeah. create a situation aspect. Um, the situation aspect is going to be um, uh, vice president on site, um, like vice president of something on site. Um, basically so that i can like my intention is to then catch them in this live stream video wait emilio that's exactly who it is the spokesperson mm -hmm. they, they yeah, send somebody was... in to go in and like be the like fix the problem before it becomes a problem and Emilia sh emilio is going to show up so it will be emilio on site um and then because you said previously when i used the declare stunt it's not really an action yeah. It's spending a fate point, which let me spend my fate point. Which, whew, I'm glad I still have one. Um, <laughs> I'm, I am going to, um, what I want to do is I want to attempt to um, uh, create. So here's what my actions are going to be, what the impact of those actions are. We can put up for discussion, but I want to get Emilio like on this live stream saying shit that he would never say in public. Um. You know, with the express purpose of like basically like 
you know, this is going to eventually shut the humans down, but not before there's a giant circus that will entertain the shit out of me. Um, so that's that's what I want to do. I don't know how you want to well, handle that. Let me let me tell you what happens with your with your declaration first. Sure. Um, you all hear this like. Um, sound from the sky as like a bright light starts illuminating the treetops from from beyond this this work site and mm -hmm. a a helicopter flies uh into view over the trees um whether or not you understand oh, what no. a helicopter is but the players understand what a helicopter is um and it starts it like it circles for a moment and then like finds a clear space uh, near the near the work site to like set down uh, to set down in um, and uh, five figures get out in white plastic suits mm. with like you know like the big beekeeper helmet you know with a clear plastic face mask thing um, and like they all have, they all have uh, like those like Velcro name patches that you just slap onto these these sorts of things. Um, and uh, uh, one of them just one of them says Garcia, and like the rest just have other random names that aren't aren't really important. Um, but uh, yeah, five five figures get out. Four of them are. Uh, Four of them are carrying like satchel like cases like and like they, they get out and they st start opening up and they have like equipment and stuff um and uh uh, uh emilio goes over and like up starts starts walking around the outside of the perimeter and like sees dinesh like carrying this guy away from the away from the work site and like runs over to them and starts like like gesticulating wildly and like like you can't really hear from where you are what what he's saying to them because there's still a helicopter and yeah. you're far far enough away mm -hmm. well i guess that i'm just gonna have to get closer okay so uh so i am of course going to do this in the most flashiest way possible um <laughs> i'm basically going to kind of like do all sorts of like I don't know, Beastmaster style tuck and rolls, um, you know, jumping off of things completely unnecessarily. Um, uh, it looks great, but it's actually dumb. Uh, as I I strive to get get close enough to get um, to pick up what uh, what they are saying, what Garcia is saying. Yeah, and you're uh, you're sort of like coming at at them from like from the, the trees, you know, from the tree line and like Dinesh and the, the injured guy clearly see you and like their eyes both just go like completely wide, but like you're coming up behind Emilio and he's too busy, like just shouting at the two of them at the top of his lungs through his helmet um, to like, to notice you right away, but you're not being subtle. No, no, no. Like I'm definitely... the flap is on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want me to roll to 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 so that we can gauge success, or do you want yeah. to just say that? Okay. All right. Um, the industry has no flash. Is the skill that I'm using, and I got a fair result. Okay. Um, do you feel comfortable with a fair? Like that's what was the what what was uh, the difficulty going to be? Uh, for for right now, it's all, still only a two. So. Um, okay, so that would be um, that's success at a minor cost, since I'm yeah. trying to overcome the like noise of the helicopter. Um, uh, I am going to let's see. I can. There are plenty of free invokes out there. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I mean, you've got the live stream disaster, which is what you're trying to do. This is true. Yeah, I'll use the live stream to disaster. Um, so this is, you know, this is something that people are paying attention to. So maybe somebody is like uh, lip reading and typing it into the comments or something. Um, 
to like assist with finding out what's going on with this. So that will take me to a four. Okay. So yeah, you get up behind Emilio close enough that you can hear it's still muffled and like, but like you can make out that he's like, uh, who are, who the hell are you? And what are you doing out here? My company is going to sue you for trespassing interrupting a rescue operation i don't even know what else and and uh dinesh is just like help me move him <laughs> and, like he's looking at the like oh god what is in those barrels why are you wearing hazmat suits i don't what am i <laughs> Poor the, guy. The, the injured guy is completely passed out dinesh is barely holding him up mm -hmm. oh my goodness now, I just want to point out that now's a good time for a compel on live stream disaster. Mm -hmm. um, as Garcia notices the the camera like flash goes off because I hit the uh -huh. wrong button. Yep. Um, and now he wants to uh, get the the camera off of me or like stop me from spreading the word. And good also, good you're a fairy. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, there's that too. So okay, I, yeah. And, go ahead and go ahead and take that uh, fate point. Yeah, I figured that will give Garcia something to do. Now, one quick question about fairies so that I understand, like, the art on the cover of the book makes me think that, like, a fairy is, like, three apples tall. So, um, it, it's, it's entirely variable. Um, okay. I did, I did include, uh, character portraits in, uh, each of your bio, uh, tabs. Yeah. Um, so like, and throughout the book, like some are very tall. Some like like the the character portrait for Tack is probably like halfling sized, but like yeah. the character portrait for uh, Oneros is like six four or something. Okay, uh, then I'm yeah, that's kind of what I was imagining. Like it the varies Jeffrey very look like just very tall, yeah. like, like, the like little, that archway look. Yeah, but the, like the little glowy pixie versions are like, you know, you could be that if you wanted to. Uh, that's what I was imagining that Silver probably probably is, because I imagine that he's got like the phone in two mm -hmm. hands. Like, you know, it's like basically yeah. like <laughs> welding a, uh, wielding a uh, giant screen TV or a monitor um, mm -hmm. throughout this. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right. Emilio does spin around and, like, see you and, like, like his whole body language, like, goes on, like, the back foot. Like, he's clearly, like, freaking out at this whole situation. Like, the stress is clearly getting to him, but he is going to try and grab the phone away from you. What is everyone else doing while this is going on? Um, I would like to hand Tack the sample that I okay. got because I'm going to uh, bend down to them and say... <sighs> my little human has gotten himself in a bit in, in a spot of trouble. I'm gonna go try to help and get that other one out of danger too. Um, so I would like to be a sneaky gentry. Uh, mm -hmm. And while Emilio is distracted by Silver, um, try to help um, lead uh, Dinesh and the injured person. Um, a way to somewhere where they will be able to sneak off um, and we'll be able to assist them later getting into yeah. a hospital. So go ahead and give me a, give me a sneaky roll. Um, yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. That's great. In fact, um, you, you doop, 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 up behind them and like tap Dinesh on the shoulder and he looks around and you're like, you just sort of, you, you help get the other, the other guy's arm and like, mm -hmm the the three of you slip off into the into the woods again while uh while emilio is like catching his wits and like starting to move toward uh the camera uh tack what are you doing uh tack is going to like tuck the little the little vial of uh of the sample like safely away um somewhere um and is going to look around for a tool of some sort like some kind of hand tool mm -hmm. pick it up and start walking towards uh, 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 walking towards uh, Silver um, to help like fend off this human that looks like he's maybe going to be attacking mm -hmm. Silver. So. <laughs> and uh, Oniros. Hmm. Uh, 
Right. So everybody's getting in fights and trying to escape with the uh, with the sample. Uh, Amiros. Also and... remember there are there are like five uh, other like hazmat suited folks with like setting mm -hmm. up equipment and stuff. So yeah, I think and we a should helicopter. probably deal with them. Yeah, we should probably deal with them. So hmm. Right. Spokesperson's on site. So I would like to try and oh okay. So I wanna somehow trick the five people into leaving or into being misdirected because there's a lot of people here right now <laughs> and um emilio is currently being talked to so let's see hmm i don't really know i don't know what i want to do what do i want to do crap we can come back to you if you want yeah you can come back to me. <laughs> okay so let's go back it. over to silver and tack who've, who's just come up with a with a, a a wrench or something um and uh yeah emilio uh let's call this a let's call this a contest emilio just wants to get the phone away from you how's that sound okay um mm -hmm. so he yep. is going to uh to be perfectly honest, he doesn't have a good skill for this. So I'm just going to roll four dice and see what happens. All right. Uh, I'm definitely going to resist. Um, yeah. uh, I am clever gentry. Uh, so I am, of course, going to uh, uh, cleverly keep it away from him as I kind of like fake out, misdirect, things of that nature. Wow. Perfectly average roll. Ooh. All right. So since this is a contest and you just succeeded with style, yeah. that's two victories for your side. Very nice. All right. And obviously your your goal is to you know get him get compromising video of him. So yeah. if you win, if you win, obviously he's going to curse something incriminating at you while you dodge and weave. Sounds good. Um, uh, do you do you want to roll uh, or does Tack have an idea? Oh well, I mean, uh, I think his his um, can, or their uh, oh, I was gonna say tack. Um, their uh, what they're basically doing is kind of like trying to get in between and just be like scary, um, uh, and just be like uh, making loud guttural noises because you know, like like you would do with a bear to try to mm -hmm. scare a bear away. He's got uh, a wrench. And I've got a wrench. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a, a red wrench. Um, no, it's yes, a hammer. Exactly. <laughs> it's a hammer. Right, it's a hammer. <laughs> uh, so I'm just uh, basically trying to protect silver. Um, For by forcefully? Forcefully, yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's why you're a member of my commission. Okay, so uh, you uh, you could spend a fate point to to win this, or a tie on a contest. Nobody gains ground, but there is a twist of some kind. Ooh, let's go with a twist. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, so Emilio is chasing the two of you sort of around and you're like trying to scare him off. He doesn't like, I think your, your, your scary tactics are counteracted by the fact that you're not that big. Um, right. And he's wearing a protective suit. So like those kind of counter each other out. Um, unfortunately, the, the three of you, uh, as you're running around sort of uh, Keystone Cop style, you <laughs> all three tumble into the hole. Oh, God. Oh, no. So now the three of you are in the pit, like kind of like wrestling with each other. Oh, oh no. man. 
And, and there's you do. and there's that slime around here, right? There's a little bit of it. A little if bit, the barrel little gets jostled, though, it could get a lot worse. Oh no, it could. So I actually, I think this works for this. I want to uh, use lever of riddles to declare something. Okay. So what I want to declare is that when we fall down, we fall down like significantly, and potentially some of the other like uh what's his face Get, gets down in with us um emilio, oh, emilio. It, yeah and there's some type of um not like ancient like maze or something but it's somebody built you know the containment area for the um nuclear waste and uh made it purposefully confusing to leave okay um yeah, something like so, that. Like so you, fall down you, into a container. You all, you all tumble down into this pit and like the earth gives way into like a second layer of like a bunker underneath. Like that they had only dug like they had put like some of these barrels just on top of the bunker, but they hadn't dug far enough down to like get to the actual like containment structure. Um and uh you, you all tumble down and like you just sort of break through the last like inch or two of dirt into a an open hatch and like tumble down into a like a concrete or stone at least stone seeming structure under the ground and it's now currently only lit by the flash on the phone that's being that's doing the live streaming oh god oh goodness uh is everyone all right um and uh oneros i like i really like your idea randy um so randy's idea in in the chat was that um this mystery maze puzzle situation is because the fae hid the <laughs> hid the the waste which i mean it feeds into like the unknown the fact that no one knew about it like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah no i really like it i don't know what how everyone else feels but um yeah so Oneris is like feeling around and he's like and they're like feeling the symbols on like the stone wall and they're like this is fey writing and it like starts glowing um and it says just like warning like the letters that he's that they've traced over already and Oneris just turns around and goes oh my uh where have we fallen into yeah, I'm gonna say that that declare ends the ends the contest that we were in before, because like, that's that's made this a whole different thing. So Randy, let's go to let's go to uh, what's Silver doing now that um, like Emilio is just staring around him now, has no idea what's going on. Uh, so first, I have an idea for a compel for um for a Neros, um, that like this area of confusion, um was actually an area the like who wrote this who did this and like you look at it and it's your handwriting and it turns out that you had done it so like that that's great Num but number one i don't i feel like maybe it was so long ago he's now forgotten well the thing is know. is like it, it could be that it could be tied to the fact that the magic was about forgetting this place and like now that you're in it like it yeah and yeah, part of the reason why i like I this compel is that it complicates things because um, it turns out that nutmeg getting sick was not your fault, but it Directly. also was but your it fault. Was your, kind of your fault. <laughs> and so, like, what it and Directly, I, yeah. and just just so that everyone's clear on my motivations as a player, it is not to be right. It is no. to make an interesting story. So no, I that's like a suggestion that. for a compel to consider. That's exactly what would happen. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it that's it how would, they are. Yeah. It would absolutely yeah. work out in your favor. Like. Why? Well, why wouldn't it? And well, well, here's to, here's the thing that complicates Aeneas's life, which means that like after we like take care of this real quick, because it is um, ten after ten. It yeah. Means to, that to be she, perfectly honest, yeah, like yeah. that realization feels like a great ending. Like it does. Yeah. It's it like you didn't really solve anything yet. Like you've definitely gotten a live stream of of you know, you've gotten clear shots of Amelia's face like as this is all happening so like that's yeah. somewhat of a victory but it feels like that mystery of wait what where do what is this place now why do i not remember it 
Like that feels like a good ending. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's go with that. So, okay, cool. Well, um, All right. we wrap with a question mark, I suppose. <laughs> Which I mean, like, that happens. Yeah. yeah. Paul, thank you so much for taking us through this tonight. Um, thank, mm -hmm. thank you all for playing. That was a lot of a lot of fun and interesting twists and turns. Oh, yeah, exactly. Really now, um, I want to wrap up wrap up the session like we usually do, which is with um, wishes and stars. Uh, Wishes and Stars is an exercise where we kind of like look back and think about the game and we point out the stars of the game, like moments that we liked, highlights that we liked, things that we liked about our character or other characters or the story or like even something about like, oh, the character sheets were really nice. Um, and then we talk about like wishes, which are things that we wish maybe had gone differently, wish could have been better. Um, uh, basically, they're the like the counterpoint to a star. Um, but framed in a way that kind of like makes them constructive and something that we can take away that's positive. Instead of saying like, roll 20 is a garbage fire, I can say <laughs> that I'm glad that Paul had to manage roll 20. So, um, so that's, uh, that's wishes and stars. Um, and usually the way that I do that is I just leave the floor open for people to call out their wishes and their stars. I loved the two character format it's really yes. fun getting to play uh two different things uh and it sounds uh really interesting uh for like a long campaign uh as well like basically being at the top of the company shit list <laughs> yeah in, <laughs> from session in, to session in 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 the campaign play what actually happens is um each new session when you when you start the the human phase um the, the game master decides what the industry's like back like like attack back would be and then you actually create a new issue aspect that is a newspaper headline so oh, like, that was great yeah based on whatever their whatever their maneuver is um, yeah I want to I want to call out um, in particular I, I thought everyone was wonderful that was a lot of fun but I wanted to call out in particular like the way you worked together like i loved uh I, I loved amelia and grayson sort of media tag teaming during the human phase mm -hmm. and i loved the back and forth in the fairy court between uh mallory and randy uh, <laughs> fighting for yeah. commissionership like we seem to do way, that a lot as characters so we the, do the way the we way do. you all work together I, that was that was stars for me no same same i i love it whenever um characters have conflicting points of view and actually have conflict um but conflict that is interesting and engaging but not like pvp conflict like the the escalation of fate points on who's going to be the commissioner of the <laughs> of the commission like you know it, it's total bullshit that no one really cares about it. there's no mechanical but these characters do these characters care about this yeah you know and what it does is it it establishes um a uh, it establishes a relationship it establishes things that are important like it's like oh we don't care about like necessarily stabbing people but we do care about who is labeled commissioner because that is important mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and so that's yeah i i like that um one star that i really liked is i really liked the stunts the invoke stunt the compel stunt and the declare stunt um I think that those worked out in a very interesting fashion. I like them. Um, and I'm going to absolutely steal them for other things that I do, because I think that that's, um, it's really good fate tech. That yeah, was a good, it was a, it was a, it was a way to streamline, streamline character creation, not have people spend an hour trying to figure out how to mm -hmm. squeeze the last plus two out of whatever, you know, they, whatever stunt they took. So. Yeah, when I started playing Fate, one of the hardest things was coming up with stunts, so I feel like that's a great way to get new players to like understand like what you can do with Fate. So mm -hmm. yeah. building uh, off of that just a little bit, I want to say that these characters, these pre-generated characters that you've come up with, Paul, are excellent. Um keep them in your back pocket for when you have to run this again. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um 
Yeah, one one the one thing that I left out is that on each of the characters, the um, folk and community uh, aspects and the neighbor and court aspects, in a full campaign mode, each of those points to someone else's character. Mm. So like okay. the, your your humans folk points to somebody else's fairy, and your uh, human community points to somebody else's human, and then the same thing with the oh, with the fairy aspects. That's okay. really cool. Okay. But yeah, it, for a one shot, it would it was a little too much to to ask, I think. You know, I I like yeah, I really like your pre made uh, characters because there was enough there to where I feel like yeah, like you should definitely reuse them because different people would use different <coughs> aspects of this character, I feel like, or utilize mm -hmm. them differently. Because I know there's some that I didn't really use a whole lot, but other people would maybe, you know, be more their style or whatever. So I think they, they're really good, both. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, um, I, it was it was really fun game. It was, um, yeah, the two character aspect was, um, was like super fun. And it was a really fun game. Um, the whole concept is really cool. Um, yeah. yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah, I, I think everyone said pretty much the same things that I wanted to say. Um, I, I like the two character, um, absolutely. Um, I think that in the amount of time that we had, like it was hard to transition into the second character just because of the amount of time. Um, but beyond that, like, and I think that's just like the constraint of, of the stream, right? Not, so you're not, saying uh, you wished you had more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Segue. I, yeah. I, honestly <laughs> wish, I honestly wish that it had been a two shot. That's mm. my only like wish is that, cause I feel like that is what it's built for or like in my mind anyway, of like, you know, you're playing a human and then you come back later and it's like, you've half forgotten what the humans did. You know, it's like when, when you've like gotten drunk or whatever, you wake up and you're like, oh shit, I gotta clean my whole kitchen. Like it's that kind of thing of like, what have the humans done? We gotta fix this now. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, like, like yeah. A, as, as written, really like it's definitely, you, you go back and forth between the two of them. The, con the original concept is that you would do it in half of a single session, but I, oh, okay. it's totally cool to do one session and then the other, the next session. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's good. I mean, good one good. one way one thing that could feed into that is like at the end of the human half of the session, um, an aspect gets creation created based on what the humans did, mm -hmm. and that provides the jumping yeah. off point for the fairy phase. Because my brain, yeah. as soon as you start dividing up a role playing game into phases, I immediately start thinking about forged in the dark. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. band of blades, uh, blades of the well, dark, etc. I was gonna say you brought in a, a, band, a blades in the dark thing with the uh, flashback. Sort yeah. Of. yeah 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 um i i i designed this before i mean blades in the dark existed like um people that backed the kickstarter had access to it and stuff but i didn't so i hadn't experienced it yet when it when i wrote this because i wrote this a number of years ago but uh i actually uh, in a, a early draft there was a, something when you changed over to the fairy you like made an aspect like you said but um i it it, it worked better to just have the uh, overarching aspect from the industry taking action at the beginning of a session rather yeah. than doing it in the middle. Um, yeah. But I, I totally think it's cool to do it. Obviously, I thought it was cool if, in the early draft to do it in the middle, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, my only other wish is that I, I wish I wouldn't have caused as much trouble as I did. <laughs> like, I, I can't stop GMing. <laughs> and so like i like games that have like that are rich in complications and like trouble i was, and so, I was like, joking but not joking that my fake character is just randy when he plays games like that's like <laughs> like the, that and that character he played that i was referencing to is like the purest expression of that that i've seen oh yet yeah. yeah i i yeah. really appreciated uh all of you like fishing for compels and, 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 and accepting compels so readily. Cause that's like my, my weakness as a fate GM is like, I don't push compels hard enough. So like you guys asking for them for no, me I've, was, was I've, great. Come, I've come to love the compel because you get more fate points out of it. Yeah. So I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. So, yeah, I like, I love that about fate, but also like, yeah, like, I don't know. I've just come to be more go from like oh no my precious child i must protect them to like yes 
go, my dumpster child. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ruin just, your I'm life. Just, I'm just terrible at remembering to like propose them oh. to players. I'm just like, nope, let's just keep moving the plot along. And then, you know, it, it gets to the point where it's, it's hard. like, oh, everyone's out of it's, fate points. Yeah. It's tough to and balance. For me, I feel things. mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, see, I, I'm mean? okay with being mean. I'm just like, hey, we could totally make it all your fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. I, I mean, uh, compels are one of those things that, like, once you understand that a that good compels, like, as a player, good compels against your character, like, lean further into your character. You know? They enrich in your character. Like, for instance, like, uh, a prime example in media of compels is, like, you know, okay, so we're at Mos Eisley's, and it turns out, like, we totally got a fare for, you know, for a trip that's going to spend a bunch of money. Great. Darn your luck, you're a smuggler, and Greedo shows up. And, like, you've got to get yourself out of this situation, because it turns out Jabba's a uh, little bit, is actively after you. It's like, suddenly you've got, like, a richer experience for your character because of that compel, as opposed to, like, oh, no, I'm going to, like, Greedo's going to shoot first. He didn't. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> dum dum dum. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, uh, well, last call for wishes or stars. Was it your like very first time playing, uh, Grayson? Uh, first time as a player, yes. Yeah. Wow. Um, how did how so, did how do you think, think it went? Uh, I mean, I think the first half went. Well, um, the second half, uh, as I kind of alluded to, it was a little harder to get into the character um, just because I was also trying to like, okay, wait, I can't think about everything that I knew before we switched yeah. characters, um, which that was a little difficult for me. Um, I I know that I, as a player, when I am playing like other games, I generally tend to be a little bit of a meta gamer, uh, and I was trying really hard not to do that. So, oh, you um, should have leaned into it. Just be psychic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You've got magic that's, powers. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's I mean, fair. Yeah, you are a fairy. You could be spying on people. So. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> and and consider also from the perspective of um, uh, so two perspectives on metagaming because I've thought a lot about metagaming because I've been playing RPGs for twenty years. Um, uh, whenever it comes to fate, um, you know, part of what you're doing as you're playing the game. You're doing so in a way that builds a narrative on top of the mm -hmm. game. And, you know, any narrative that we experience in media, like film, television, books, et cetera, has plot holes. And sure. so, like, as long as you can't drive a truck through that plot hole, um, that's cool. Uh, you know, um, it, obviously the fidelity for that varies by group. But if as long as you can't drive a truck through the plot hole, usually it's like, it's like, oh, you wouldn't have known that. But it worked out all right and it was interesting and fun. So. We keep moving. Yeah. The second, the second thing, my second perspective on metagaming is that um, it is so difficult as a player to try and separate what you know from what you don't know and pretend mm -hmm. that I think that the impetus is on the group to determine like when a line has been crossed. Like um, okay. when you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, trolls like they're they regenerate unless it's fire. And the question in those circumstances are like, if you have trolls and you have a torch and you don't use it, is it fun? If you do use it, you know, is it like, and the, you know, is it like increasing the fun? Like what's increasing the fun using what you know, or not using what you know. Um, yeah. And that varies by, by group and such. But um, whenever I, worry about like oh do the players know these monsters because they have all of the monster manuals i'm just like you know what if they start to be too efficient with monsters i will start throwing curveballs on the monsters you know like it turns out trolls need acid to get burned or you know or maybe like i don't know other curveballs so yeah. just some just some general thoughts on metagaming hmm Well, thank you all so much. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you. All right, nice, let's go ahead you. and shut down this stream. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Hit the bell for Algae Rhythm. Yeah, oh, God. All right. <laughs>